All right, guys, I'm going to the store. Do you need anything? Pop-Tarts. Jeffy, you already have Pop-Tarts right here. I like it. Well, what flavor Pop-Tarts, Jeffy? Yes. Oh. Okay, well, do you need anything else? Hot Pockets. I'm talking ham and cheddar. Don't get them the Hot Pockets. You're just going to heat them up and hump them. Well, it's better than my Peppa Pig piñata. But, Jeffy, you're not supposed to have that. You lost that privilege. <laughs> Baby, throw that away when you leave. Okay. Well, don't forget the Hot Pockets. Jeffy, why don't you just get a girlfriend so you don't have to use Hot Pockets? Daddy, who's ever going to date this? You're right. Baby, get the Hot Pockets. A lot of them. And the pop. Tarts. But we already have Pop-Tarts right here, Jeffy. But I don't like those Pop-Tarts. They're yucky. There's no way they're yucky. They look good. Well, do you want to try them? Yeah, I'll try them. All right, here, let me get you a piece. Just turn your head and you open your mouth. Okay. It's Gorilla Glue. Mm. I glued your mouth shut. Mm. What are you saying, Daddy? Gorilla got your tongue? Mm. Daddy. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Open your mouth and talk. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Mm, 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 mm. Sir, could you please not talk with your mouth full? Mm, 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 mm. No, I know whatever you're eating sounds really delicious, but I can't understand you. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now I'm curious. What are you eating? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, come on, tell me. It sounds really good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is it a firehouse sub? Because that's the noise I make when I eat them. I go, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, if you don't tell me what you're eating, I'm going to hang up. Mm -mm. What, did you just stub your toe? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, I know what's going on. You've been kidnapped, and the kidnappers put duct tape over your mouth. Is that right? Mm -mm. And they have a gun to your head? Mm -mm. And, and they say they're going to shoot you if I don't bring a million dollars in unmarked bills with no die packs and a fully fueled up police helicopter ready to go with no tracker? Mm -mm. And they want me to come naked? It so they know I don't have any weapons on me? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'll be right there and I'll make sure nobody follows me and there's no backup. Mm -mm -mm. And they want me to do what? Mm -mm -mm. Ugh, the things I do to save these hostages. Okay, I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here and I got the million dollars in unmarked bills. I'm naked, so you know I don't have any weapons. And the helicopter's behind me and it's all fueled up and ready to go. Now, where is this glory hole? I just want to get this over with. Mm -hmm. It's upstairs? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, where's the glory hole? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to do it, but uh, I just have to to save your life. Wait, where are the kidnappers? You said there were kidnappers with a gun to your head. Mm -mm. Kid, have you seen any kidnappers? There's no kidnappers. You lied to me. You just wanted me to come over here naked so you could see if yours is bigger than mine. We'll take a good look, is it? Mm -mm. Oh, I see. Now you're ashamed. Wait, wait a minute. If there's no kidnappers, that means I can keep the million dollars for myself. <laughs> I'm rich. Um, I, I, I don't know if you can notice, but uh, there was a dye pack in there. Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought the department would just give me a million dollars and not put a dye pack in there. See, we don't, we don't really just give a million dollars. We, we try to arrest people. Yeah, your, your life's not worth a million dollars. You know what? I'm, um, I'm going to go put my clothes back on. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm really glad I wasn't wearing my shirt when the dye pack went off. I'd hate to stain my shirt. You know, the department only gives us one shirt because they're so cheap. That's why I probably should have expected they wouldn't just give away a million dollars. Now I have to live with the consequences. I look like Papa Smurf finished on my face. Or maybe somebody threw a blueberry pie at me. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm is right. Blueberry pie is delicious. Although I prefer cherry. I gorilla glued his mouth shut. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Why didn't you just say so? Mm-mm. Oh, that's right. You couldn't because your mouth is glued shut. You know, I know we've been milking this intro pretty hard, but your mouth being glued shut reminds me of this guy I went to high school with. Gary Glue Lips. I want to tell you about him. So in high school, there was this kid named Gary, and he loved to eat glue. Every time you looked at him, he was squeezing a bottle of Elmer's glue in his mouth. For lunch, he'd bring a lunchbox full of glue, nothing but glue, and he'd eat it. Bro was constantly in the bathroom, constipated from all the glue in his ass. Everybody would point at him and say, glue eater, glue ass, but he loved it. He didn't care what anyone thought of him, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I asked him to go to Applebee's with me, and I ordered the mozzarella sticks, but he brought glue sticks, and he just chomped on them. But we became good friends, but he died the way you'd expect someone who ate glue would die a skydiving accident. You see, we had a senior skydiving trip at my school, and you had to pick a partner and pack your own stuff, and he said, don't forget the parachutes, but I thought he said pair of shoes. So when he jumped out of the plane and he went to deploy his parachute, a pair of Nike Air Jordans came out, and he hit the ground and died. 
I was so confused because they were Air Jordans, but I guess that didn't matter. So I didn't jump out after I saw what happened. But his tombstone was the shape of a bottle of glue. Elmer's paid for all the funeral costs. Yeah, R.I.P. Gary. I mean, that doesn't really fix your mouth situation, but hey, we got a good minute out of that, right? <laughs> you know, I hear uh, Jeffy's 20th birthday's coming up next week. You excited for that, buddy? Oh! Yeah, you guys are going to like that. You're going to eat that shit up. Okay, so let me fix your mouth so we can get this plot rolling. Come here. Oh, ow, you just like ripped my mouth open. That's what she said <laughs> from my chode. I'm just kidding. Jeffy should answer it. Why? Nah, just trust me, I have a feeling. Jeffy, go answer it. Hello? UPS, I got a package you need to sign for. I'm also the UPS man, in case you didn't notice. What's in the box? Oh, hopefully something that gets us five more fucking minutes. I mean, the plot. There you go, you enjoy that. Yep, careful. I'll see you upstairs. Hey, Dan, look, a package came in the mail. What's in the package? Oh, Peroni's disease dick. Takes a right turn without using a turn signal and shit. What? Hey, sorry, I was in the bathroom. Oh, hey, look, a package. I didn't know you had a package. What's in the package? Jeffy, what's in the package? I don't know. I didn't order anything. Well, open it. Hello, who is my husband? Uh, there's a woman in that box! Hey Marvin, I think that package is for me, right? I'm just kidding, this is very strange. Dang, I think this package came from Epstein's Island! I am your mail order bride. What, mail order bride? What's that? Oh yeah, I heard about this. It's like a website where you can go and buy a wife. You can buy a wife? Yeah, it's mostly for ugly people. I have the three of you, I cannot tell who is my husband. Well, that's just hurtful. Although right now I do look like I'm an avatar. Oh daddy, can I bang her? No, Jeff, you can't bang her. But I want Russian pooper! No pooper. Yes, pooper! No, Jeffy, no one's marrying her. But I need a green card. Who is my husband? Oh, daddy, I'll be your husband! No, Jeffy, the answer's no. But please, I promise I'll take her outside for her to use the bathroom and I'll give her food and water. Come on, Marvin. Every boy deserves a Russian mail order bride. <clears throat> please, Danny, please, 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 please. We're all right. Yeah, you're the best daddy ever. But one accident, she's going to the pound. Oh, she's going to the pound right now. Come on, get your shit. You're going to my room. I am bringing my box. Marvin, you're such a good dad. Can you not wash that stuff off your face? No, it's a dye pack. That's the whole point. It just stays there. Oh. All right, so this is my room, and these are my bunk beds, top or bottom. Oh, I like top. Now, which bunk bed do you want? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer. Hmm. What's your name, anyway? Whatever you like it, Luby. Hmm. Damn, Marvin. He's really going to town in there. It's been like an hour. Oh, it just stopped. <sighs> Dang, do we have any balls of water? Because my balls are dehydrated. Jeffy, talk to me. You don't actually want to marry that Russian girl. Yes, I do. I was Vladimir putting it in your pooper. But Jeffy, we don't even know who she is. Like, she, she could be stealing stuff. Why would you leave her alone? All right, fine. I'll call her in here. Jeffy Fart Fuck Four, get in here. What? Did you just call her? Jeffy Fart Fuck Four? No. Fine. Jeffy. All right, six. The number's not the problem. Then what's the problem? You, you have a cuss word in her name. Okay, fine. I'll censor it. Jeffy Fart. F word four, get in here. Hello. Hi, Jeffy Fart F word four. How you doing? You don't actually like that name. I like my name. I think it's very pretty. Listen, you don't have to do this. Do what? Bang tard tard binks. <laughs> this a pretty little pepper. You know, I like it in this country here with your blue walls, your red couch. I see why you pick these colors for your flag. Fuck yeah, America! 58 times straight Super Bowl world champions, and we won the last five NBA championships too. Because the Toronto Raptors won six years ago. But Canada can lick my taint, because we're America. We got tacos and french fries and, and pizza and... um. Uh, and, and sc school shootings, I guess. And football! Did I mention football? Fuck yeah, we're the best country. I hunger. Well, what do you eat? Dick. Well, what do you eat? Vodka. Okay, I don't think we have vodka, but my wife's almost back with the Hot Pockets. Well, you can tell Mommy to cancel the Hot Pockets because I'm going to be eating Russian Hot Pockets tonight. Well, she's also getting Pop-Tarts. That might be her. Pop-Tart time. Hello. Hey, Marvin. Did one of my packages accidentally get delivered here? Uh well, I guess it wouldn't be an accident considering I own your house. And naturally, I get my packages sent to properties that I own. I mean, there was a package delivered and- Did you open it? I mean, no, I- Because it's my monthly mail order bride subscription service. They send me a new wife every single month. And this month was supposed to be a Russian. 
Her name was gonna be Goodman Fart Fuck Four. What? Okay, five. No, it's okay the, six. The, the, the number's not the issue. Then what's the problem? The, 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 the cuss word and then. Okay, fine. Then I'll censor it. Goodman Fart F Word Four. Am I in a nightmare? That's what I thought when I showed up here and I didn't see my package on your front doorstep. Okay, the, your package is upstairs. Okay, all right. Coming in to get her. All right, Jeffy. The real owner of that woman's here. What? That's right. Come on, Goodman Fart Fuck Four. What is going on? Jeffy's not really your husband. He didn't order you. He did. What? You lied to me? I'm sorry, sweet cheeks. How are you trying to get some strange? That's right. Now, come on. Now, wait a minute. It's probably the right thing to do to let her pick who she wants to have as a husband. Well, that's a good idea, Marvin. All right, go ahead. Money. Oh. Wiener. Oh. Money! Oh. Wiener! Oh, I choose money. Ah, right, come on, let's go. Hey. Jeffy, don't be sad. She was never yours. It was just your turn. That's right, Jeffy. Women are always going to choose money. Just like my ex-wife, that fat bitch. Yeah, she was fat. <laughs> Marvin, remember when your mouth was glued shut? I liked it better that way. <laughs> Face! <laughs> burn! Get you some ointment for that burn in your itchy ass. I'm your doctor, so I know about your itchy ass problem. Wee 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 wee. Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm being a police car. Wee 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 wee. Well, stop being a police car. All right, well I'm a police officer, so give me your license and registration. I'm not even driving. Well, I have to do a cavity search to so open up your butthole. No. Give me, give me, give me. Wait, Hey there. Real cops? What are you doing here? Well, I'm a cop. I can pretty much walk into any house I want. Not without a warrant. No warrant, schmorrant. I had probable cause. What was your probable cause? I don't know. I smelled like weed or something. I'll figure it out. Listen, I need your help. With what? Well, you see, I have a lot of jobs, but I'm also a security guard at this kid's pizza place. It's called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Maybe you've heard of it? No. Oh, shut up. I know you've played the games. There's a movie coming out. You've definitely heard of it. No. Listen, you keep lying to me and I'm gonna pop you, okay? All right, so I usually work there with my partner, and he worked last night, but I haven't seen him since, and I'm pretty sure he just disappeared, so I need a new partner, and I was wondering if maybe you'd help me. What, me? Become a security officer? Nah. But Marvin, you're the only person I know who'd look good in a security guard uniform. Well, you're gonna have to find someone else, because I don't look good in one. Wait, you're already kind of wearing a security guard uniform. Well, I'm actually a police officer. Wait, so you're impersonating a police officer? I could arrest you for that. But I won't. Instead, I want you to come be my partner. But I want you to be a real police officer! Well, being a security guard is kind of like being a real police officer, except you don't carry a gun, and no one respects you, and you make way less money. You're basically the substitute teacher of police officers. Well, just do it, Jeffy. Yeah, you make $11 an hour. All right, I'll do it for one hour, because I just want $11 so I can get some V-Bucks. Okay, come on. All right, Jeffy, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Can I have some pizza? No, 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 it's not your lunch break yet. Now, first I want to show you around so you know where everything is. See, right here we have the main stage, and these are the animatronics. We got Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica. Yeah, see, they don't work because this place got shut down a while back because some kid got eaten. They never really figured out what ate the kid, but you know how it is. One kid gets eaten, and it ruins the fun for everybody, so they just decided to shut the whole place down. I guess they still wanted to pay for security because apparently the animatronics are expensive, and they don't want anyone breaking in and stealing them, but honestly, this job is pretty cake. I mean, it's the same shit every night. I just sit back in the security room. Any questions? While you were talking, Freddy scratched his balls. No, he didn't. He's an animatronic. He didn't even have balls. I saw with my eyes Freddy scratch his balls. Oh, he's not plugged in. You're just hallucinating. Come on. I want to show you the security office. I know I saw you scratch your balls. Hey, he's moving again. No, he's not. Come on. All right, Jeffy, this is the security room. Honestly, there's no reason to ever leave this room. All we have to do is just sit here and watch the security camera where nothing ever happens and just eat stale pizza. But you told me I couldn't have pizza. Well, that was earlier. Now you can have pizza. But first, I want to show you all the security camera angles. See, right here, this is the hallway for walking. And right here, this is the kitchen. You know, that's where the pizza gets made. Just the kitchen. And then right here is the bathroom. I don't really know why there's a camera in the bathroom at a kid's pizza place. You know what, maybe it's for the best this place got shut down. And that's the main stage again, so hand me some za. Wait, the animatronics aren't there! No, what now? The animatronics aren't there anymore! Huh, yeah, they sure aren't, are they? I told you they were moving! Well, maybe the security camera's just glitching. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's see what's going on. 
Oh yeah, I forgot it's dark. Let me get a flashlight. Whoa, hey Freddy! I told you he could move! Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, it's your first day on the job and you're trying to prank the veteran. Ha ha, you got me. I didn't move him! He moved on his own! He can't move on his own. Yes, he can! Look, just help me get him back on stage. Mm -hmm. Ugh, okay, kid, where are Bonnie and Chica? I didn't move him! Oh my god, kid, I just want to go back to the office and eat stale pizza. I don't have time for this. Well, I didn't move him! Okay, fine. No pizza for you. I'm gonna go back to the office and check the cameras to see where you hid them. Alright, kid, let's see where you hit them. Not the whole way. Oh, great, you hit Chica in the kitchen. No, I did! Okay. Oh, great, and you hit Bonnie in the bathroom. Very funny. I'm not moving him! Just help me round them up. <sighs> I can't believe you hit Bonnie in the bathroom. What if he got stained? It would never come out of that purple felt. Let's go get him. Whoa! I thought you were closer to the toilet. I told you they're moving! They're not moving, come on. Okay, Bonnie's back. Now let's go get Chica out of the kitchen so I can enjoy my pizza. Okay, and Chica should be right there. Yeah, let's grab her. <sighs> okay, they're all back now. Now, kid, no more touching them. I haven't been touching them! Well, you shouldn't touch them because if you break one of them, you're gonna have to work for free for a whole year because they're so expensive. Now let's go back and eat pizza. All right, Jeffy, hand me a slice of pizza. Oh man, I love pepperoni. You see, Jeffy, when you don't mess with me, this job is really easy. All you have to do is sit here, eat pizza, play games on your phone, check the cameras every now and then, but what the hell was that? They're gone, and I know you didn't move them because you were standing right here and the static only lasted half a second. That's what I've been trying to tell you! Okay, let's see where they are. Take a look. Okay, not in the hallway. What? Oh, Chica's getting a snack. Okay then, I'll just keep looking. Oh, and Bonnie's taking a shit. I didn't know animatronics could take a shit. I wonder how that works. Okay, well, oh, Freddy's back on stage. That's good, we don't have to worry about him. That helps a lot. Oh, Chica's got a slice of pizza. Well, at least she looks happy. Okay, oh, and Bonnie's done shitting. I wonder if he washed his hands. Okay, let's... Oh, wow, Chica's really enjoying that pizza, huh? W wait, J Jeffy, do you hear stomping like the pitter-patter of fox feet? Yeah, I do! Let me take a look. Oh, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door! Lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it! Oh, God, I forgot about Foxy. Who's Foxy? That's Foxy. That's the one that can move. So if you knew that one can move, then you should have known that they all can move! Well, I didn't know that, but it makes sense now. Come on, let's check the cameras to see what Foxy's doing. All right, let's take a look here. Oh shit, the laptop's out of power. What does that mean? Well, it means we can't look at the goddamn cameras. What does that mean? Well, it means we don't know where they are. What does that mean? It means they could be anywhere. What does that mean? It means we're gonna have to get a flashlight and go out there and look. Capital, fuck that! Foxy's right outside the door! Well, he can't still be there, right? I mean, he's not just gonna stand there all day. Well, I think we should stay in this room all night! Well, that wouldn't be very much of a video now, would it? No, it wouldn't. So come on! All right, Jeffy, open the door. No, you open the door! I want to stay here in the room! You're the one that wants you to go out there so bad! Well, I guess you got me there. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, I don't see him, so I think we're good! Yeah, come on! All right, let's take a look in here. Well, looks like the power's out everywhere, but I don't see him. Oh, and great, Freddy's not on stage anymore. Well, let's go look for him. I wanna leave. No, we can't leave. We have to stay here till 6 a.m. and we don't get paid. And we gotta put all the animatronics back on stage or my boss is gonna be pissed. Come on. All right, Jeffy, let's check the kitchen. Ah! Oh, shit, Jeffy, I dropped the flashlight. Could you get it? Okay. Uh, hey, Chica. <laughs> well, now that I know you can move, I'm not gonna carry your heavy ass back on stage. So, could you just walk back on stage, please? Okay, well, I definitely can't make you, so I guess I'll just let you think about it. Oh, the flashlight broke. Okay, just let's get the hell out of here. All right, Jeffy, here's the plan. We're gonna go back to the office and grab my car keys so we can get the hell out of here. But first, I gotta go to the bathroom, because I'm pretty sure I pissed my pants when I saw Chica, and I think maybe even a little bit of shit squirted out my ass. I mean, it happens when you're scared and you're 40, you know? Yeah, I understand. I do it for fun all the time. Yeah, see, you get it, but I, I really do need to check, so I'm just gonna... Go in here. Oh my god, more came out. Uh, hi, Bonnie. Yeah, y you are really scary, but is it okay if I check my underwear, please? No? Okay, well, I I'll just I'll just leave you to it then, buddy. Sorry for bothering you. Okay, let's go to the office. Okay, Jeffy, I'm gonna grab my keys real quick. Oh, look. What? Oh, shit. Foxy's back. Oh, no, he's stretching. He is getting ready to run. 
He can run the 40-yard dash in three seconds. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to go. We got to go. Go, 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 Close it, close it, close it. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Oh, God. Okay, let me get my keys, and let's get the fuck out of here. But, Jeffy, where are my keys? I don't know. They were right here. Well, I haven't seen them. Well, keys don't just disappear. Jeffy, do you hear the jingling of keys? Yeah. Uh, Jeffy, do you see those big, goofy bear feet? Yeah, I do. Uh, person behind the curtain, do you have my keys? I'll take that as a yes. Oh god, I know I have to pull the curtain back, but I really don't want to. Oh, and now the lights went out. Now I really, really don't want to. Oh, and now it's playing the You're Fucked music. Now I really, really, really don't want to. Oh shit, it's Freddy and he looks pissed off. Uh, Freddy, can I have my keys? No? Okay. Uh, Jeffy, you know what? I say we kick his ass! Yeah! Yeah, it's 2v1! <laughs> oh, okay! Yeah, I'm gonna turn you into Freddy Fast Bitch! Yeah, let's get him! Get him! Just get him! Get him! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! <laughs> <laughs> Suck that! These are my car keys! <laughs> oh, okay, Jeffy, Jeffy, I think, I think... Jeffy, I think we spit on him enough. We can get out of here. Jeffy, let's just get to the car, get the hell out of here, and never come back to this place ever again. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Uh, wait, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh shit, hey Bonnie. And Chica's right there. Oh, I see what's going on here. They're mad that we jumped a boy. Well, guess what, Bonnie? Freddy went out like a bitch. Yeah, and he got spit on. Yeah, a lot. Like, more than I actually condone. So if you see him, please tell him we're sorry. Okay, guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna beat up Bonnie, you take Chica. No, I'm gonna to beat up Bonnie and you take Chica. Well, see, here's the problem with that. I don't want to deal with that mouth. It scares me. I don't want to deal with the mouth either. Okay, well, how about this? Not it! Aww. Oh, oh, Chica's giving us the bird. <laughs> that pisses me off. Why does that piss you off so much? Because I don't have a middle finger, so I can't do that. So this is what's gonna happen. You go start the car, and I beat both their asses. Sounds like a plan. Now, who wants him, Jeffy? But before I beat your ass, I want to let you know that my body is a dangerous weapon. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, bumping some tunes. Ah, drive! I'm guessing you lost. No, Foxy's chasing me! Oh, shit. Okay, Jeffy, I think we finally outran him. Now let's go get some McDonald's and go home. Ah! Marvin, how do you think Jeffy's doing at his new job? Baby, he's doing fine. It's the easiest job in the world. He's not even a cop. He's a security officer. All he has to do is sit down all day and look at cameras. It's easy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Are you gonna ask what happened? Well, did you get off your job early? Well, no, we were almost killed! Yeah, the animatronics came to life and tried to kill us, so then I had to beat some ass! Yeah, he did. Wait, what? Well, yeah, remember that pizzeria I told you about that's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese? Well, that turns out all the animatronics are haunted, and they all tried to kill us, but then Jeffy kicked all their asses. But then, as we were driving away, the Fox one, Foxy, popped up in our back seat, and we thought he was gonna eat us, but it turns out he's actually a pretty cool dude. He just wanted us to drop him off at his cousin's house. Oh, so is Jeffy fired? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, he's just not going to go back there ever, ever again. You know, unless this video does really well, you know, maybe we'll go back for another night. So if you guys just like and subscribe and get our numbers up, you know, maybe we'll go back with some different animatronics next time. Like, like that puppet boy or the, the balloon fucker. All our bags are packed. Oh, Marvin, I'm so excited to go to St. Louis, Missouri. If we're going to Missouri, why are you dressed like you're going to the beach? Because we are going to the beach, Marvin. There's no beach in St. Louis. <laughs> Marvin, prepare to be wrong. Check this out. What's that right next to the arch? That's right, it's a beach. Can you imagine floating in a pool floaty and looking up at the arch? I think that's heaven, Marvin. Well, that looks like a river. Yeah, the Mississippi. I can't wait to go snorkeling and eat Mexican food. Oh, Marvin, they have the best Mexican food. I, I swear, it's like they hop the border and come straight to St. Louis. So you've been to St. Louis before? Yeah, we go every summer. Boiny says it's the cheapest beach you can go to. Yeah, it's amazing, Marvin. See in the picture? There's nobody else there. It's like having your own private beach just for you and also that barge. Okay, well, why don't we go somewhere more tropical, like Oklahoma? Marvin, everybody's going to be swimming in the beaches of Oklahoma this time of year. You know where they're not going to be? St. Louis, Missouri.
Okay, well, let's not miss our flight. Grab your bags. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. We have a Southwest flight, and it's like riding a bus. There's no assigned seating. It's just first come, first serve. So we might not actually even be sitting together. I swear, if I get seated next to a crying baby, I'm gonna punch it in the face. Well, if you punch, it's gonna cry more. Not if I punch it hard enough, Marvin. <laughs> just kidding, but maybe I'm not. Come on, let's go! How lucky of us that we all get to sit together in one row. I know, isn't it great, Marvin? Danny, what would happen if the plane crashed into a building? Right, Jeffy, don't say stuff like that. Well, it happened three times, almost four. Jeffy, that was a long time ago. Yeah, Jeffy, it's not gonna happen, so shut up. All right, one more question. How do we know that the pilot didn't catch his wife cheating on him and he's about to crash the plane on purpose to get back at life? Well, I'm starting to freak out, Jeffy! Oh, you, come, calm down, come down. That's not gonna happen. They screen the pilots every, every day, I think. Ugh, I hate sitting in the middle seat. And I'm sitting next to a baby. Fungus, sit down. What the fuck? You named your baby Fungus? Well, would you like to sit next to Fungus? No, she likes the window seat. Okay, well, do you want to switch seats with me so I can sit on the end and you can sit with Fungus? No, I like the aisle seat. Oh, yeah, that makes fucking sense. Mama! 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 I, I think Mama. it wants your attention. Mama. That's okay. She's self-soothing. She'll calm down in 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, that is fucking perfect. Hey, you think you could cry louder? I don't think my eardrums have ruptured yet. How do you like it? Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? Yeah, I'd like a bomb so I can blow this plane up. Sir, you can't say bomb on an airplane. Oh, sorry. Well, can I at least get some earplugs then? Oh, shoot. I just gave away my last pair. Oh, were those people also sitting next to a screaming baby? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sure they needed it way more than I do. Oh, one more thing. Um, hypothetically, if I were to punch this baby, would I still be able to go to St. Louis? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I really want to see that arch. Okay, that's it. Shut up. Shut up, baby. Shut up. Shut up. Give me something to cry about. You that baby, baby sounds like it's getting murdered. Hey. What? Go back to your seat. Um, I just punched a baby over there, and now the flight attendant is saying I have to switch seats. Would any of y'all mind switching seats with him? Uh, Rose, you want to switch seats with him? Sure, I'll sit by a baby. Wait, really? I get a window seat? <laughs> I gotta start punching babies more often. Oh, Marvin, this is the perfect way to start a vacation in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm on a Southwest flight right next to my best buddy. Hey, Marvin, what do you think the odds are that the flight attendant will suck me off in the bathroom? What? No, nah, no, nah, I'm just kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy. That wouldn't happen. It's crazy. But maybe, right? No, no, no. I, I wouldn't let it get that far. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Well, Marvin, it sounds like the captain's having a rough day. But don't worry, he'll cheer right up as soon as we land in St. Louis, Missouri. Happiest place on earth. Oh, bumpy takeoff. Well, it's really, really, really bumpy. Really, really bumpy takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, I'm gonna crush it! <laughs> what?! It's gonna be full! <laughs> I thought I punched you. Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? You already asked us that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That means, that means this plane's gonna crash. I need to get off this plane. Wait, 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 come on. Uh, Ma Marvin, Marvin, Rose, Jeff. Marvin, Marvin, Jeffy Rose, I just had a vision that this plane is gonna crash. What, it's gonna crash? Yeah, I had a That's So Raven moment. We need to get off this plane. Okay, what about your wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, Karen, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, look at that. I left my bag. See, isn't it good that we got off that plane? Why'd you make us get off the plane? We missed our flight. Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Well, I had a vision that the plane was going to crash. You daydreamed the plane crashing until you made us all miss our vacation? No, it wasn't a daydream. It was really realistic. Like, I punched this baby in the face, and then I came and sat with Marvin, and then the pilot said he was sad, and then he crashed the plane. It sounds like you fell asleep in your seat and had a bad dream. No, trust me. I could not have fallen asleep with that baby screaming at me. Boiny, you ruined our summer vacation. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are going to thank me when that plane crashes. I don't think that plane's going to crash. Planes don't crash anymore. Planes are very safe. Look, the news! Breaking news, okay? A plane, during takeoff, drove off the runway and crashed into a building, killing all 180 passengers on board. Oh, my God! How horrible! Those poor people! 
all. Yes, yes, I was right. Yes, face, 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 face. Oh, yeah. You guys didn't believe me, but then I whipped out the dick of truth, and I was like, oh, all over you guys. Oh, yeah, I was like, the plane's going to crash, and you were like, no, uh and then you know what happened? It blew up. It crashed, and yes, I know I'm being a little insensitive because 180 people died, but I know five motherfuckers who didn't. Right, Marvin? Right? We are alive. Yes, because of me, because of how right I was. I'm totally going to use this at parties. I'm going to be like, hey, you know that plane that crashed? I was on it until I got off because I had a bad feeling. I like making stuff about me. You know, like whenever I see a car accident on the news and I'm like, I drive on that street all the time. That totally could have been me, but it wasn't. But I'm still going to make a Facebook post about how it could have been. Yummy the lights. Oh, God, I love being right so much. Okay, Karen, come on. Let's go home and you make me dinner to celebrate how right I am. I cannot believe we just escaped death. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Boiny, your taquitos will be ready in about 20 minutes. Yummy, taquitos. I like those. I know you do, Boiny. Oh, Boiny, whose dollar and one penny is this on the counter? It's mine, Karen. Don't touch it. Okay, well, I'm just going to move it out of my way. Oh, 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 no. Boiny, Boiny, I dropped your penny down the garbage disposal. Well, you better get it, goddammit. That's a 1997 penny. I like that year. Okay, Boiny. Oh, 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 oh. It's so deep. Oh, it's so deep. Oh, deep. Oh, it's my just God, that's so, so hot. And it's oh, so that's deep. so hot. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> Karen, what's all that screaming about? If you burnt the taquitos, we can always just get Uber Eats. Karen? Oh, oh God, you definitely burned the taquitos. It smells like a burning body. Well, Karen, I'm gonna go over to Marvin's house. Definitely not a strip club. It's definitely gonna be Marvin's house. Uh, no strip clubs for me. Just Marvin. Okay. Marvin, it's just so sad those people died today. We could have died. I know, but we didn't. We got off the plane, so just be grateful we're alive. Oh, hey, Dad. Look how high I'm jumping. Jeffy, no jumping on the trampoline in the living room. Oh, trampoline dick. Bound jumping down and shit. Seriously, Jeffy, people lost their lives. There's no mood to jump on a trampoline right now. But jumping on your trampoline makes me feel better. Dang, how high you think I can jump? I think my wife burned dinner. You want to come to the strip club with me? I just saw my son get decapitated by a ceiling fan! Well, that's why we don't put trampolines under ceiling fans. There you go, buddy. What do we learn? You don't care that my son is dead? Well, listen, you're not the only one dealing with the dead body, okay? I'm pretty sure my wife fell into an oven and got cooked to death. You saw that happen to her? Well, I didn't see it, but I heard it. I didn't want to see it because I didn't want to be traumatized. But I'm also kind of freaking out because I saw this movie called Final Destination where some people avoid dying in a plane crash and then they start dying in freak accidents. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us because my wife is dead, your son is dead, and I don't see your wife, so I'm assuming she's dead too. My wife might be dead? Yeah, probably. So I figure if we're going to die anyway, we might as well die at the strip club, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen there? A stripper's ass is too fat and it engulfs my head and I suffocate? Or I'm sucking on titties and they're too fat and I suffocate? That sounds like a pretty good death to me, Marvin. Yeah, I guess the best place to die is a strip club. Yeah, exactly. So, um, how are we gonna get there? Well, we can take my car. No, no, no cars. There's a car accident in Final Destination 2 and it's horrible. A log goes through a windshield. No, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, um... Do you have a bike? No, because then if the chain breaks, it might slit our throat, and I don't want to do that either. Why don't we just walk? No, no, because we could get hit by a car or lightning or another plane. No, that's no good. We can just call an Uber, right? Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I don't think death would kill an innocent Uber driver just to get to us. Good idea. Okay, let me call the Uber. Let me get my bowling ball. Wait, why are you bringing a bowling ball to a strip club? Because there's a bowling alley at the strip club, Marvin. It's called Tens and Pins, because you can look at Tens while you're knocking down pins. It's great. Oh, okay. 
The Uber's almost here. Oh, the last one there is a rotten egg. Oh, no, 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 I'm going down there. Oh, no fair, I gotta roll my ball. I'm gonna make it to the Uber first. I'm not gonna be a rotten egg. Oh, 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 I'm gonna catch you, Marvin. Oh, shit, oh, shit, 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 watch out. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would happen. Yeah, I am definitely in a Final Destination movie. I really gotta get to the strip club. Oh man, I am ready to die. Yes, I am. Oh hey, what's your name? I'm Brooklyn Guy. Great, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for something to kill me. Oh my god, are you depressed? No, I'm in a pretty good mood. I just know I'm gonna die soon. Oh, is it like cancer? No, no, it's gonna be a freak accident. <gasps> are you a psychic? Well, maybe. I did have a vision earlier that helped me avoid a plane crash. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hey, can I give you money to do stuff to me? Sure, but I have to tell you, I have HIV. Oh, there it is. That's how it's gonna get me. I'm looking death in the face. Yep, I can't cheat death twice. You know what? I don't even think I want to. This is how I die. Hey, no touching the lettuce. Oh, no, I paid. Oh, no, fuck, no, not like this. Oh, come on. No, oh, it was supposed to be hot. I was supposed to die in the titties. It's not fair. Curse you, cruel death. <laughs> Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin. It'll be fun. He's gonna make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me a hundred bucks. What? Jeffy says raise your left hand. Jeffy says put it down. Jeffy says go ooh, 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 ooh. Jeffy says go ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah. Jeffy says say pee pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says give me 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me a hundred? <sighs> Here's your 50. Jeffy says pee pee. Jeffy says jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. Ugh, I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, ah, you lose. You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him a hundred bucks. Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say Jeffy says stop doing that. <sighs> and you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said. And I, I did what you said. And well, now you gotta give me a hundred bucks. <sighs> Here's your hundred dollars, Jeffy. Leave. He just made $200. He just conned us out of $200. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150. <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What, for what? I need you to come over to my house. Don't ask questions, Marvin. I'll send you the address. Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably going to yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, very good. He's in the living room. Please, go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman. I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You want to squeeze them? Well, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to squeeze oh, them. Oh, come on, Marvin. I can tell you want to squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here judging my wife, boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were good. I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, she, she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. Why? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just- Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought it was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, 
I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. I didn't <laughs> cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. But what if you thought the, 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 girl, uh, the man was a girl? You're sick, Marvin. Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? What, what, what? Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me, what do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want, me to, you want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm gonna go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay! <sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want to. Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? Look at this. She hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the God damn it? <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now, why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her ditties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans. And he stuck his face between them and shook his head violently and went like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I I'm gonna call a marriage I didn't do anything! Oh. Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you were going to give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one. Over there, go. Uh, okay, fine, I'll give him a massage, that'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good, like he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice. Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. Wait, 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 what is that? <laughs> I pulled a Deshaun Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boobs, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. If you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! 
Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs, but I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, you're gonna check? What? No, listen, baby, you know that's Brooklyn guy dressed like a woman. I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend. No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen, I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen, if I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, no, I didn't miss them. You miss how they fell on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. I, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman! It's not what it looks like! He came on to me! No, I heard the whole thing! And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup! <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! Who's my little cuddle muffin? Oh, who's my little snuggle bear? I am my little strawberry shortcake. With a cherry on top? Of course with a cherry on top. Oh, is it Are you guys done? Jeffy, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to throw up in my mouth and swallow it. What do you want, Jeffy? I want some help building my Lego pirate ship. Jeffy, I don't have time to build a Lego pirate ship. But Danny, it'd be really quick. It's only 1,260 pieces. And if it takes us 30 seconds per piece, that's only 630 minutes, which is only 10 and a half hours. So let's get started. Jeffy, I'm not going to assemble Legos for 10 and a half hours. Mar Marvin, you should spend more time with Jeffy. But my little cuddle muffin, I don't want to assemble Legos for ten and a half hours. Well, Booberry Bear, you could do the first five and a half hours, and then I could take over for the last five hours. But baby, I don't want to assemble Legos. Hey, Dad, check this out. If you buy me two more of these sets, we can build the pirate house and the pirate island. Then we have the whole collection, and that would be the tits. I'm not buying you any more Legos, Jeffy, until you assemble this Lego set. So how about this? If you assemble the Lego pirate ship by yourself, then I'll buy the other two sets that you can assemble by yourself. How about that? One day, yesterday, I was watching this naughty video that had the exact same title. Three in one. Jeffy, I'm not gonna assemble Legos with you, so take this to your room and assemble it by yourself. <laughs> Who's that? Hopefully someone to help me build my Lego shit. Oh, let me see what it is. Uh, hello? Help me! Help me please! You have to hide me! Wait, are you Goodman's butler? Well, yes, but not anymore! It's a long story, please! Hide me, please! Uh, okay, come upstairs! Thank God! So, Marvin, who was at the door? It was Mr. Goodman's butler. My name is Chives. Well, Chives, what are you doing here? I had to run away from Mr. Goodman. I couldn't stand the constant bickering and nagging and him demanding me to say sir at the end of every sentence. Sir. Well, why'd you run away? Why didn't you just quit? Because he would kill me! You don't understand! I'm the 14th butler this year! I've seen things! Things he doesn't want the world to know! So if a butler wants to quit, he just kills them! Well, you can stay here. I, I promise you, he's not gonna come looking for you here. Thank you! <gasps> Who's that? That must be him! Please! You have to hide me now! I'll do anything! Oh, oh hide in the bathroom! <sighs> okay, I I'm gonna go answer the door and, and, and tell him he's not here. Uh, hello? Is shithead here? Who? That bald-headed bastard! What? I don't know who you're talking about. My butler, Marvin! What? 
I didn't even know you had a butler. Oh, stop tugging my balls, Marvin. I know he's here because I have a tracker in his colon. And my Find My Butler app led me right to your house. What, your Find My Butler app? Well, I didn't, there, there's no butler in my house. Your phone must be acting up. Oh, really? Because if I press this button, it'll shock his colon. You don't have to press that. I'm gonna press it. Well, don't, don't, don't press it. I'm pressing it. <laughs> Found him. What? Hmm. The Find My Butler app says he's in here. He's not in my bathroom. We should go check another room. He could be in your shower. He's not in the shower. Let's see. <laughs> there he is. What? No, no, that's just my screaming shower curtain. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, really? I would love to see it scream again. <laughs> okay, look, I will pull back the curtain to show you he's not in the shower. Okay. Run. Oh, yes, these pipes are lovely. Master Marvin, I was just fixing your pipes. Thank you so much for hiring me again. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Oh, Goodman, old chap. I didn't even notice you there. Oh, old Marvin here, he was just hiring me to fix his pipes. Did I say you can leave the house, Chimes? Well, well no, sir, but I... That is unacceptable. That is three spankings for you with the paddle. Is that the paddle with or without the spikes, sir? The spikes. You know that, Chimes. Now go warm my Lamborghini. Yes, sir. God, you're getting old. It's so hard to find good help around here, Marvin. Now walk me to the car. Uh, okay. All right, Chives, you know the Lamborghini doesn't come with heated seats, so I'm going to need you to pull your pants down and warm up my seat with your bare ass cheeks. Very good, sir. What are you doing? You don't have to take this. You can stand up for yourself. You can say, I don't want to work for you anymore, and stand up for yourself. <sighs> you know what? You're right. I don't have to take this anymore. I'm a man. Messed up. Did you just raise your voice at me, Chives? You have a dirty mouth. You get in that car. Uh, 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 no, sir. I, I, I was just letting you know that I took the liberty to warm the baby oil for the butt spankings later. You rub that Vaseline all over those ass cheeks, Chives. Now get in the car! Yes, sir. Thanks for helping me find him, Marvin. You want to watch the spankings? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, he's going to get spankings in my car. Here it comes, Chives. <laughs> One, sir. Stop tensing up. Marvin, what was that all about? I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Danny, since you don't want to build the pirate ship, can we make a Play-Doh pizza and eat it? What? No, Jeffy, you can't eat Play-Doh. It's poisonous. Oh, that's why I run out of Play-Doh so fast. But then why did they make it look like pizza? It's supposed to be like a joke. <laughs> I'm not laughing, Daddy. Well, look, how about we do something else? Who's that? Hold on. Hello? Marvin, please! You have to hide me again! I escaped Goodman and those powerful spankings! But he has a track on your butt! He's gotta find you again! I, I need you to help me remove it! Now, come! Marvin, who's at the door this time? Marvin, quick! Stick your hand up my rear to get the tracking device out! Marvin, what is going on?! I'm not sticking my hand up your butt! I'll do it! No, you're not gonna do it, Jeffy! Fine! I'll do it myself! <laughs> Oh, it came out! Oh, thank God! Hurry, grab it so we can flush it! I I'm not gonna grab it! Oh, fine, I'll do it myself! Ew! Why'd you put it in your mouth? All right, Marvin, flush it! Okay. Good men will never find me now. Okay. Marvin, what is going on here? Look, there was a tracking device in his butt, and we flushed it so Goodman couldn't find him. Exactly! Oh no, that must be Goodman again. Marvin, please, you must hide me again. No, find your own hiding spot. Excellent idea. Uh, hello? Where is he? Uh, what's the bat for? I'm gonna beat his bald head with my baseball bat. This is my bald-headed baseball bat beater. Well, I promise you, your butler's not in my house. My Find My Butler app said he's in the exact same spot that he was in last time. So I'm gonna go beat your screaming shower curtain with my baseball bat. <laughs> Oh, how do you like that, Chives? Pull the curtain back. Uh, okay. What? Uh, hold on. My Find My Butler app says he's right here. Well, no, he's not here. No. Oh, I see what you did. Wait, wait, what? You flushed him down the toilet, didn't you? Well, I can't flush him down the toilet. Flush me down the toilet, Marvin. What? Flush you down the toilet? Yeah, I'm going in after him. Flush me down the toilet! Uh, uh, okay. All right, Marvin. Flush me. Okay. I'm coming for you, Chives. I'm coming! Marvin, can you please tell me what's going on?
I just flushed Goodman down the toilet. What? Thank goodness, sir. I was hiding under the sink five more seconds and I think he would have found me. You saved my life. I'll do anything for you, sir. I'll, I'll be your servant. I'll cut your toenails. No, no, that, that's fine. You, you can just go home. But wait, Marvin, he's a butler. He could take care of Jeffy and do all the things with Jeffy that you don't want to do. What? Good thinking, baby. But you're so smart. Uh, yeah, yeah. He could he could build the Lego set and and, and the Play-Doh pizza. Uh, Chives. There is one thing you can do for me. Of course, anything, sir. I want you to be Jeffy's butler, you know, and, and do everything he says. Anything's better than working for Goodman, of course. All right, Jeffy. So this is Chives. He's your butler. He'll do anything you say. That is the tits. All right, butter pillow, baby. Let's go to the bedroom. Okay, flutter by. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all are gay. Indeed, sir. So, Master Helmethead, what is your first request, sir? Well, first I want you to build my 1,260-piece pirate Lego set. That is a lot of pieces. It might take me a little while, sir. Yeah, it'll take you exactly ten and a half hours. Because with 1,260 pieces and one piece every 30 seconds, that equals 630 minutes, which equals ten and a half hours. So you better get started. Of course, sir. I'll be on that right away. Great. Ugh. There you are, sir. Your Lego pirate ship on 1,260 pieces. Huh. It took you 10 hours and 45 minutes. It was only supposed to take you 10 and a half hours. Well, you see, sir, there are many small pieces and my vision's not as good as it used to be. Oh, oh well, let's go see if it floats. Uh, floats, sir? It didn't float. Oh, of course it didn't, sir. There's no water in the tub. Oh, maybe we should have put water in it. Build it again. Uh, I think I saw a plate of pizza set upstairs. How about we go do that instead? Okay, let's go make a pizza. Thank God. All right, sir. Your Play-Doh pizza is ready. Eat it. You want you want me to eat it, sir? Yeah, eat it. I would rather not. I eat it all the time. It's good. Eat it. Sir, I, I would rather not. I said eat it. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mmm, it's so good, sir. Take a real bite. Yes, sir. What's that over there, sir? Where? Oh, wow, that was so good. That was so delicious. I, I could have another. Oh, you ate it already? I'll just make you know. Uh, no, sir, I, I'm so stuffed from the first one. I couldn't dare. But why don't we do something else? All right. Here, make me some more balloons. Yes, sir. Sir, your water balloons are ready. All right, thanks. Do with them as you wish, sir. Well, oh, uh, it didn't break. Please don't do that again, sir. Uh, sir, good heavens! Don't, don't put that down, sir. Uh, that well, really that didn't break either. You, you know, uh, ow, sir. Sir, I, I must implore you, please. Let. How about we go do something else, sir? All right. So I decided you need to wear a uniform. Sir, I already am wearing a uniform. No, I think you need to wear something more formal. Put this on. Sir, this is a chicken suit. Yeah, put it on. Must I absolutely have to, sir? Did I stutter? I said put it on! You did not stutter, sir. I will get to it right away. I have put on the chicken suit, sir. All right, good. Now I want you to act like a chicken. Of course, sir. Bok. Bok bacock. No, that's not realistic enough. I want you to act like a real chicken. I will do my best, sir. <laughs> Good. Now, I want you to color a page out of this coloring book. Which one, sir? Just pick one, any one of them, but it's got to be perfectly within the lines. Absolutely, sir. Right on it. Sir, your perfectly colored book as requested. Chives? What the heck? W whatever do you mean, sir? You colored outside the lines, you blind old fart! Oh. Idiot! Uh, sir, the ears were hard to see, and there's a beak in my face. Well, find another picture and color it perfectly, dummy! <laughs> You know what? No! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Not from you, not from Goodman! I quit! Good day, sir! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Oh, Goodman, old chap, where have you been? In the sewer, looking for your tracker that's supposed to be in your butt! Uh, that must have fell out when I used the restroom earlier, sir. Mm. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have to deal with this anymore, sir! I'm finally sticking up for myself! I quit! Oh, oh no, you quit? Oh, 
Are you working for Chick-fil-A? Is that what this is? Uh, well, no, but anything's better than working for you, you old bag. Wow, no one's ever stood up for me before. It almost, it almost sounds like you need to put this chip back in your ass. Good day, sir. Well, you know what? I got 20,000 different reasons why you should put that microchip back in your ass. Shall I warm the Lamborghini with my butt cheeks, sir? Indeed. Absolutely, sir. Get your ass back in the car. Jeffy, how's your butler doing? Yeah, you having fun? No, he quit. He quit? Yeah, but it's okay, Daddy. I got this new Lego set. And I know you were upset about the last one because it was going to take like ten and a half hours. But this one's only a thousand and two pieces. And at 30 seconds per piece, that'll take 501 minutes and just under eight and a half hours. Well, get started, Marvin. <sighs> okay, let's build this one. I'll try to get jiggy with it. What's wrong, Marvin? I hate going to the club because guys are going to talk to you and then I'm going to get upset. Guys aren't going to talk to me, Marvin. Why can't we just stay home? Hey, Marvin, what's up? Yeah, we've been pre-gaming in the car on the way over here, so you're going to have to be the DD. The DD? The designated driver, duh. Oh my god, I love your outfit. Thank you, I love yours. Marvin, what the fuck are you wearing? A suit. Why are you wearing a suit? We're going to the club. You're not going on trial. You're not holding a press conference. I thought it looked nice. No, you look like her dad, especially because she's dressed like a child on her way to church. Pointy, cut it out! No, that's fine. If they want to be embarrassed, let them be embarrassed. What am I supposed to wear? This drip swag, you know? I look like I have chlamydia. You look like a goob. Hey, Daddy, where are you guys going? We're going to the club. Oh, can I go? No, it's for adults only. Well, I'm 19. Yeah, sorry, kid. It's 21 and up. But you're a cop. Can't you sneak me in? No, because then it would be a total sausage fest. More for me and you, right, Marvin? We're married. Yeah, sure we are, buddy. Okay, everybody, to the club! Let's go! Okay, fine! I'm gonna start my own club, and none of you will be allowed in it! Oh man, Marvin, this club is lit. It sure is. Oh my god, I love this song! Me too! Okay, Marvin, now that the girls are distracted, let me know if you see any hot babes. I think I see one over there. Ooh, good eye, Marvin, good eye. Now call Batman, because the Rizzler's here. Hey, Brad, Cadet's over here with me, bruh. Okay. Hey, ma'am, I don't like to watch sunsets, but I'd like to watch you go down on me. What? If I flipped a coin, what are the odds I'd get head? Huh? Uh, I'm in college, and normally in class, I try to get an A, but with you, I'd like to F. What? Hey, I lost my keys. I think they're in your panties. Can I look in your panties? Brad, he's trying to get in my panties. Hey, you hitting on my girl, bruh? Yeah, so what if I am? Do something. No, guys, don't fight. Oh, my boy Marvin's here. He's gonna kick your ass. No, I'm not. You wanna fight, bruh? I don't wanna fight. Oh, yeah, he wants to fight. Marvin called you a pussy, and he said your breath smells like Cat shit! Don't talk about my breath! Marvin! I think we should leave. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you doing to the playroom? <laughs> well, my mommy and daddy went to a club, and they said that I couldn't go, so I'm starting my own club, and it's gonna be called Club Jeffy. No adults allowed! Aren't you 19? Yeah, but I'm gonna be the only adult allowed here. Kinda weird, dude, but we're not gonna judge. So what's all this stuff? Well, I got disco balls, a disco penis, and a bubble machine, because hoes love bubbles. Hoes do love bubbles. Everyone in the world's gonna wanna come here. Well, hopefully not too many people. I mean, we're gonna have to get the fire marshal in here to see what the capacity of this place is, otherwise it's a fire hazard. Dude, you should not be allowed in here. What? Safety first. So we can invite all the people we want? Yeah, invite everybody! Let's go invite everyone! Woo! I'm gonna invite the fire marshal. <laughs> Hey, Jeffy, I brought my girlfriend, Penelope. Hey. Sweet. You like my sign? That's a pretty nice sign, Jeffy. Hey, guys, I brought the fire marshal. Top of the morning to you. Wait, Cody, no adults allowed. But he needs to make sure the room is up to code or it could be a fire hazard. No, Cody, he's not allowed in there. Come on, you can come in. What? No, he can't go in there. Oh, this club's pretty fucking sweet. Wait, is that a bubble machine? <sighs> Jeffy, what are we going to do about that? We need security. Yeah, we got to hire security to make sure no adults come in there. We got to hire someone really scary that'll beat them up. <gasps> I know just the guy. Junior, why did you call me? I hate you. Well, we were wondering if you would be the security at the new club that we just opened. Why would I be security for you nerds at your nerd club? Yeah, I don't want bully in my club. Well, Jeffy, if we hire him, he'll never be allowed in the club. He'll work outside the club. He'll never be able to come in. Oh, good thinking, Junior. Yeah, we were going to pay you $100. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, for money, I'll do it. Okay, good, you're hired. So here's what it is. No adults allowed. So ask for IDs, and if anyone shows you an ID, you make sure they don't get in, because no adults are allowed. Okay, got it. Also, there's an adult in there right now, I need you to grab them and throw them out. Okay, yeah. So what's the capacity? I'd say about 25 people. That's it? Yeah, it's a playroom on the second story of a house. 
All right, old geezer, time to go. What, excuse me, young man? You can't talk to your elders that way. Time to bounce. <laughs> Let me go and stay out. See, Jeffy, I told you we hired the right person. Yeah, good idea, Junior. So, Bully, I made a list of all the people that are allowed inside the club. If there's a check mark, that means they're already here. Okay, cool. All right, so only let the people in this list in. Okay. All right, so let's go. Woo! Woo! This is the greatest club ever! Whoa, are those bubbles? Hell yeah, they are. Woo! Okay, bro, you can step aside, PJ's here. I'm sorry, what was your name? <laughs> Ladies, you hear that? What the fuck? His name? PJ Crenshaw. Jamie James Crenshaw. Pierre Jamie's Crenshaw. I'm sorry, I don't see any of those names on the list. <gasps> PJ's not on the list? Now, ladies, calm down. I'm sure there's just been some kind of misunderstanding because PJ is on every list. Yeah, well, you're not on this list. Oh my God, PJ's not on the list. No, much you leave? Listen, bro, if you don't let me into this club right now, no girl is ever going to come here ever again. No, I understand that, but I have very strict instructions not to let anybody in unless they're on the list. Like, those girls can come in, but not you. Yay! Yeah, well, well, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> go, Jeffy! Go, Jeffy! Go, Jeffy! Go, Jeffy! Go, Jeffy! Go, Jeffy! <laughs> You guys hear PJ Crenshaw crying? Yeah, dude. Hold on, let me go see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? This guy said I'm not allowed in your club because I'm not on the list. What the heck, bully? Of course you're allowed in, PJ. Uh, no, th thanks, bro. Hey, man, you're really lucky he showed up when he did. I was about to F you up. Come on, girls. What the heck was that about, bully? You didn't let PJ in? You said only to let people in if their name is on the list and his name was not on the list. But PJ Crenshaw's the coolest kid in the world. Of course he's allowed in. Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh my God, if you wouldn't have let PJ in, then he would have told every girl in the world not to come to this club and the club would have closed down and went bankrupt. Wait, bankrupt? Am I supposed to be charging people money to come in here? Yes, you're supposed to be charging guys $20 to get in. You never told me that. Oh my God, so you're telling me a lot of people are in there for free? Yeah. Okay, how about you charge a leaving fee? They can't leave until, you give them until they give you $20. Okay, fine. Fine. All right, so make sure you let the cool people in. The cool people. Okay. This party's cool, huh? Yeah. Hey, can you watch my drink? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, junior, Junior. What? I think we got a situation. What is it? I just saw Patrick dump a bunch of sour Skittles into a girl's drink. He did what? Yeah, look at him. What's he trying to do? I think he's trying to see her sour face, Junior. Or he's trying to get her to taste his rainbow. You gotta let Jeffy know. Okay. Hey, Jeffy, we got a problem. One. Well, kick his ass out! Club Jeffy is a safe space for girls! And so is my face! Bully, get over here! Okay, Bully, he's right here. All right, man, come on, your night's over. What are you talking about? Nobody's gonna be spiking girls' drinks at this club. Oh, come on, man, it was just how we skittles. Nope, come on, you're going out of here. No! No, I'm not going! No, come on, man, don't make my job harder. No! You're embarrassing yourself. Pull your pants Get off. Get him out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Fuck you. Uh, hey, my name's Chef PP. I'm supposed to be catering this club. I got a pizza. Oh, man, you look way too old for me to let you in here. How old are you? Come on, I know your parents told you not to ask a lady her age. Sorry, <laughs> I can't let you in here, man. What? I'm supposed to be delivering this pizza. You gotta let me in. Well, you could give me the pizza and I'll deliver it. Well, how do I get paid, dumbass? Uh, well, you could ask my boss. Well, where's your boss? He's inside. Well, let me in. How am I supposed to get paid if I can't go in? Sorry, I can't let you in. Uh, well, no way he's getting this pizza then. Hey, Bully, did Chef Pee come with the pizza? Yeah, yeah, he came, but he was too old for me to let him in. What? You didn't let Chef Pee in with the pizza? Everyone's hungry. Well, no, because he's an adult and you said no adults allowed. Oh, Chef Pee can come in for a second to drop off a pizza. Well, you didn't tell me that. The sign says no adults allowed. Not no no adults allowed except for pizza men. You should know this. Oh, okay, you know what? If you ever have a question, just ask me and I'll come give you an answer. Okay. Did anyone else try to come in that you didn't let in? Well, there was this one guy who pulled up with 10 hoes and a Dooney van and he called himself the Coochie Man, but I didn't let him in, so he went back to Coochie Land. You didn't let the Coochie Man in? No, no, he didn't want to pay the $20 to come in and his hoes didn't want to go in without him. If a guy pulls up with 10 hoes and a Dooney van, you let him in because that's 10 hoes. Ugh, there's so many rules you didn't tell me. Okay, listen, if you ever have a question, you just ask me, and if I don't know an answer, I'll ask Jeffy. Okay. <sighs> Ow. Marvin, I can't believe that man randomly punched you in the face. Yeah, so random. Yeah, why'd you do that, Marvin? I don't know. Maybe because you said I said his breath smelled like cat shit. Well, his breath did smell like cat shit. And besides, you're the one who was flirting with his girl. Well, no, I wasn't. Marvin, what? You were worried about me talking to guys and you were over there talking to girls? I wasn't talking to any girls. He was. No. Yeah, huh? Nope. Yeah, yeah, you were. Never. You said you wanted to get head. No, no, I was talking about a coin flip, Marvin. 
Actually, I should have said, what are the chances I get head or tail? Then I went either way. Oh, that would have been good. I should have said that. I mean, you should have said that. You know what? Karen and I are going downstairs to bake cookies. You, you hear that loud music? Yeah, it's probably just the tinnitus from how loud the club was. No, it sounds like it's inside the house. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. We should check it out. Okay. Look, Martin, this is where the music's coming from. Club Jeffy? Is Jeffy in there? Yeah, it's his club. Let me speak to him. No, 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 no. You're way too old. No adults allowed. This is my house and this is my room. I'm allowed in. Yeah, well, it's Jeffy's club and he says no adults allowed. No, I'm allowed in. Back off, man. I'm allowed in. <clears throat> oh, my God. Wow, Marvin, hit in the face twice in one day. Well, oh, arrest him for punching me. I'm not going to arrest a bouncer for doing his job. He's a kid. He doesn't have a job. Look, let me try to talk to him. Yo, 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 homie, what's up? Shit, number Swiss cheese. Listen, man, you're not allowed in here. Oh, come on. I'll slip you about tree fit if you let me and my friend in there. No, sorry. No adults allowed. Oh, but there's a bubble machine in there. I'm going to go in there so bad. I hate you. Jeffy! Jeffy! Hey, listen, man, calm down. Jeffy! Hey, quiet. Want to come Oh, oh, fun to come out. Oh. Watch out, Barney people. These two geezers want to come in. Oh, hey, Daddy. Yeah, you're not coming in my club. Jeff, you can't start a club in my house. Well, I did, and I'm fucking up some commas. We haven't made any money. Jeffy, you have to let me inside this club since it's inside my house. Oh, uh, one, two, three, you don't have to. One, two, three, you do have to. Oh, uh, no, no. Don't let him in. <laughs> well, Jeffy, you have to let us in. I said back off, man. Oh, we'll be back, and we're going to find a way in. Come on. Woo! Best party ever. Hey guys, look, I'm riding the bubble machine! <laughs> Dude, fire! 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 Yeah! Hold on, hold on. I forgot to charge everybody 20 bucks when you came in, so now I have to charge everyone 20 bucks to leave. Screw that, there's a fire! Yeah! Daddy, there's a fire in my club! A fire? Well, you're a firefighter, go put it out! Well, I mean, I would, but it's no adults allowed. Oh yeah, Jeffy, there's no adults allowed, so I guess your club's gonna burn down. That's fine, it's your house. But he's right, it is my house! Go put out the fire! With no adults allowed. Go put it out! Okay. All right, kid, move out of the way, I gotta put out that fire. Nope, no adults allowed. Are you fucking kidding me? The room behind you is on fire! No, I take my job very seriously, so you're not coming in. What, what are you talking about? If I don't put out that fire, this whole house is gonna burn down. Nope, I'm not falling for your tricks. Tricks? What? Just turn around! Nope, that's the oldest trick in the book. Okay, you know what? You can fucking die. Did you put out the fire? No, that guy was an asshole and he wouldn't move. Well, what are you talking about? You didn't put out the fire? No, he wouldn't let me in. What the fire alarm's going off? Go put out the fire! No, no, this is what he wanted. That's fine. He wants to die. I want to die. That works for both of us. Go put out the fucking fire! All right, you little brats, here's your macaroni and cheese. And Cody, I made you some special noodles. I think you'll like it. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> Chef Peepee, you know me so well. Are those little? Yes, yes they are. Oh, dude, I love mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, I love macaroni and cheese. And I love dickaroni and cheese. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> especially the black ones. Oh, man, I lost my appetite. Yeah, me too. Junior, do you notice anything new about me? You're more annoying than usual. Shut up, Joseph. You only have a top lip? Well, that's true. No, Junior, I got my ears Pierce today. Look, I have waffle earrings in. Waffle earrings? Ooh, the hoes ugly as hell. I'm more of a pancake guy. Take my ass to IHOP, you feel me? Remember when they were IHOP and they pretended they were only gonna do burgers? Nobody believed them. What, you only got your ears pierced today? Yeah, Junior. My dad just let me get them done. I thought girls were born with their ears pierced. Wait, Junior, you thought girls were born with holes in their ears? Everyone's born with holes in their ears, idiot. No, I mean extra holes. Girls already have extra holes. Where do you think babies come from? Their front butts. What? Junior, you know it'd be so hot actually if you got your ears pierced wait no just one ear pierced that'd be so hot yeah you would look pretty hot with an ear piercing well well then i want one of my ears pierced okay i'm gonna go tell all my friends that i got new earrings joseph would it be cool if i got one of my ears pierced yeah maybe some rappers do it yeah you look cool oh i want one of my ears pierced now well you have to go ask your dad you're not 18 yet so you need your parents permission oh good looking out cody i don't want my dad to beat my ass you asked me to get your ears pierced you fruity fruity ass boy next thing you be asking What'd your dad say, Junior? He said, maybe when I'm older and out of the house. Everything okay, dude? We heard screaming. Yeah, yeah, my dad just doesn't want me to get my ears pierced because he said that I might get a staph infection in my ear. Mm. 
Well, I could just pierce your ear with a needle, you know, sanitize it. No, no, no. I think the only way I can get my ear pierced is if I accidentally pierce it. How do you accidentally pierce your ear? Oh, like fall on a needle, dude? Yeah, something like that. Or like if I got in a fight with you, Cody, and you pulled out a, a hole punch and punched my ear. Well, I do always carry a hole puncher. Everybody knows that about me, so I could do that if you want me to. I just think the hole would be too perfect and my dad would know we did it on purpose. Yeah, you're right. That's stupid. Ooh, I got an idea. Now, this might sound crazy. But what if you lay on my roof with a sniper rifle and I go 200 yards away and you shoot me in the ear? What, Junior, what the fuck? Uh, do you know how hard it would be for me to shoot your ear from 200 yards away with a sniper rifle? It's not that hard, Cody. Someone just did it a few days ago. But if I miss, you could die. Just don't miss. Yeah, what? if you make it, it would be cool, dude. But there's like wind and gravity and a whole bunch of shit. I don't know anything about shooting guns. You've literally made a time machine before. I think you can shoot me in the ear with a sniper rifle. Yeah, that is true. I did do that. Yeah, so all you have to do is just shoot me in the ear and, you know, do it right because, you know, I don't want to die. Well, okay, uh, okay, I guess I could do that, but I mean, I've never shot a gun before. This is still very dangerous. Oh, come on, Cody. Just grab a gun and shoot me in the ear. Well, where am I supposed to get a sniper rifle? It's America, Cody. You can get a gun anywhere. Just go ask your dad, pull it out of his safe, look under the bed. Just literally go outside. You'll, you'll find one. Yeah, yeah, it's probably hanging on the fence or something, dude. Yeah, that is kind of a stupid question. You're right. It's not going to be hard. All right, grab a sniper rifle and go up on my roof. Okay. All right, Cody. Make sure you only shoot my ear. Uh, okay, Junior. I got you in my sights. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh, I think you got it, Cody. Did I get it? Sorry, I shot a lot of times. I panicked. Uh, Cody, there's people screaming over there. I think you shot a random person. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, dude, did you get your ear pierced? Yeah, how's it look? Oh, dang, dude, that's the wrong ear. What do you mean the wrong ear? Junior, Junior, did I really shoot someone? I don't know, maybe there was people screaming. What do you mean the wrong ear? Dude, you're not supposed to get the right ear pierced. If you get the right one pierced, you're gay. What, gay? Oh, yeah, I have heard that. Apparently, if you get your right ear pierced, everybody knows you're gay. What? No one told me if I got a specific ear pierced, it would mean I was gay. Dude, you're supposed to do your research. It's like tattoos. They're permanent. Now, move a little closer to Cody. I don't want you grabbing my butt now. I'm not gay. Cody, why didn't you tell me? Well, I've heard that. It doesn't mean it's true. I mean, I'm gay as hell, and my right ear's not pierced. So if my dad sees my right ear pierced, what's he going to say? Oh, he's going to be mad as your gay ass. Well, I'm not gay. Okay, what if I get both my ears pierced? Oh, you straight as fuck, dude. Well, I could just take this hole puncher and even it out. No, it's got to look like an accident. Does this look like an accident, Joseph? Uh, duh, dude. You're missing half of your ear. What? Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time putting an earring in there. Okay, well, grab the gun and shoot my other ear. I'm not gonna shoot your other ear, especially not if I accidentally shot someone else. Well, no one's gonna know it was you. Uh, if there's a random bullet, they probably thought it was like from a gang fight. A gang fight in a predominantly white suburban neighborhood? The news! Breaking news, okay? Donald Duck was randomly shot and killed today. The shooter is identified as this four eyed freak. If you know who this kid is, please call authorities right away. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone with information that leads to the arrest of this shooter. So they're not even gonna know it's me, huh, Junior? Well, that's my face plastered all over the fucking news! Well, hey, at least they used a good photo of you, Cody. Thank you. I don't really know where they got it, but I wish they'd send it to me. That could go on the gram. I can't believe you killed Donald Duck! Well, I didn't mean to kill Donald Duck. I guess one of the bullets just hit him. Why'd you shoot multiple times? You only had to shoot once. Well, I didn't know if I hit your ear or not. I panicked, Junior. I panicked! Well, listen, Cody. We're your best buds. You have nothing to worry about. We would never call the cops and rat on you. Uh, hey, y'all looking for that four-eyed freak that shot Donald Duck? Yeah, I'm sitting right next to his ass. Hey, y'all offering a $10,000 reward? Ooh, yeah, bring that money. I need that right now. And come and pick his ass up immediately. Joseph, what the fuck? Bro, I need that money. I need a payday. And you going to jail anyway. What the fuck? Listen, Cody, even if the cops show up at my door, there's no way I would tell them you're here. Thank you. Who's at the door? Let me get it. No, Junior, what the fuck? Hello? Do, 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 do. You want it? Well, you gotta tell me where he's at. Where's he at? Tell me where he is. Tell me where the freak is. Come on. What do you want? The, fr the freak, the four-eyed freak that shot Donald Duck. You tell me where he is, you get this money. How can you afford to give $10,000 just for people who tell you stuff? Well, it's just like a big safe we have at the police department called reward money. I think it's taxpayer money, honestly. But whenever I have a bunch of gambling debts, I go in there and grab a stack of two every now and then. Oh. Nobody notices. Well, he's upstairs on the couch. Oh, here you go. You thought? <laughs> Dumbass bit. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I only give you the money after I arrest him. Dumbass. All right, officer. Cody's right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nigga, that's mine. Thank you, Pookie. Junior, you said you wouldn't let him in. Cody, I can't lie to a cop. I don't want to go to jail. <sighs> 
Okay, you're under arrest for the murder of Donald Duck. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law, etc., etc. Put your hands behind your back. Actually, you know what? Don't because I forgot my handcuffs in my squad car, so please come outside quietly without putting up a fight because I also forgot my taser and my handgun because I'm an irresponsible police officer and last night I went drunk driving in my squad car and I think I killed a pedestrian, but I don't really remember. You got all that? I got it. But officer, I didn't mean to shoot Donald Duck. I was just trying to shoot my friend's ear. Um, do you want to press charges for him shooting your ear? No, I told him to shoot me in the ear. Wh why are you guys always doing weird shit here? Why, guy why, why can't you guys just be normal kids and do normal kid shit? Earlier, he was eating macaroni and cheese in the shape of dicks. See? Like that. Like that kind of shit. Just be normal. Come on, you freaks. Let's go to court. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer. And today we will be hearing the case of Cody, who is being accused of shooting beloved Disney icon Donald Duck with a sniper rifle. Cody, why did you do this? Well, Your Honor, it was a total accident. You see, my friend here wanted to get his ear pierced, and his dad told him he wasn't allowed to get his ear pierced, so he wanted to make it look like an accident. So I was shooting his ear with a sniper rifle, and I shot multiple times, and I guess one of those bullets hit Donald Duck by accident. Hmm, that explanation is quite ridiculous, but your friend's ear is wounded, so I do kind of believe you. Mickey Mouse and Goofy, let me hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, me, Goofy, and Donald were chilling at the Mickey Mouse Trap House. Me and Goofy were in the hot tub with the girls. Bitches, Your Honor, bitches. And Donald was smoking quack. That good shit. And then out of nowhere, his head got blown off. Well, right the fuck off. At first we thought it was Bugs Bunny and those but we looked across the lake, and there was a four-eyed freak with a sniper rifle! He killed Donald! Hi, them, Your Honor! Well, it does seem like a complete accident to me. So, Cody, I find you not guilty of murder, but guilty of involuntary manslaughter. And I sentence you to three hours of community service and a gun safety course. No! Three hours? Your Honor, please have mercy on me! No! Oh, God, why? Three hours of community service? That's it? Goofy, we have to get revenge! Let's shoot him in the fucking head and see how he likes it, Goofy! I like that idea. I heard that, and if you successfully do it, that's premeditated murder. So you know. Three hours of community service, my life is over. Don't worry, Cody, you'll make it through it. Damn, they gave you a three hours community service? Boy, they really bapped your ass. Yes, they really bapped my ass. Did you buy all that stuff with your snitch money, Joseph? <laughs> yes, sir, Ski, and I'm fresh as fuck. <laughs> Cody, you're not worried about how Mickey and Gooby said they're going to shoot you? Oh, I did hear that, and I am pretty scared. But as long as nobody lets them in the house, I should be fine. There's someone at the door, let me go get it. Junior, what the fuck? Hello? Goofy, no! Go hook, die, bitch! Ah. You shot my other ear! Goofy, you rat, you piece of shit! Well, maybe if your big fucking ears weren't in the way, I'd have a better shot. Don't talk back to me! It's not even the right kid! Now I gotta go looking for him! Uh, no, 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 you, you did get the right kid. What? Yeah, yeah, the bullet went through my ear, it, it, it killed Cody, he was in the living room, it, it got him. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind, Goofy, we got him. Oh, thank God. Is everything okay, Junior? I heard a gunshot. Oh, it was just Mickey and Goofy trying to kill you. They thought I was you, and they shot me when I opened the door. See, look at my ear. Well, shit, I'm glad I didn't answer the door then. At least both of your ears are pierced. Now you don't look gay anymore. Yeah, I guess it is good that now both of my ears are pierced. Did I hear both of your ears are pierced? You fruit ass boy! Ah! Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Pooby from SML. I do the voice of Cody and Brooklyn Guy and a whole bunch of other people. Did you know we're selling Jeffy pianos right now on SMLmerch.com? Yeah, that's right. They make Jeffy noises whenever you press the keys. Listen to that. It's fucking crazy, right? Well, if you want one, you better grab one now because on July 31st, they disappear forever. Gone. Bye-bye. No more buying them. So you better get one now. Just, just thought you should know that. So you can do this. Listen to that. Listen to that, Jeffy. Done. Finished another one. What are you doing, baby? I'm making snowflakes with Jeffy. Oh, those look so good. Thank you. How does yours look, Jeffy? Mine look like dick. What, Jeffy, you made it look like dick. <laughs> you said my snowflakes look like dick. Marvin, that's mean. No, he literally cut out the word dick on his. And what is this supposed to be? Penises. <laughs> Jeffy! There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? 
What do you mean, hello? I said knock knock. You're supposed to say who's there. But I already see you. I know who's there. I, I was doing a knock knock joke. But you rang the doorbell, but and I, I already opened the door. That's why I said knock knock. Have you never done a knock knock joke before? Not at my actual door. Just let me in. You ruined my joke. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the cop. Shut up, let me tell the joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? No bell. No bell who? No bell, that's why I knocked. <laughs> but we have a doorbell and he rang it. You keep ruining my jokes. Okay, fine, here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Haywood. Haywood who? Haywood, you blow me. <laughs> <laughs> See, he liked it. Why are you here? Well, it's sad boy hours, because I just found out I'm going to jail for 21 days. But you're a cop. You can go to jail? Yeah, surprisingly, cops can break laws, too. Yeah, I got a DUI, again, for the sixth time. And you're going to go to jail for it? Yeah. They plastered the video of it all over the news. So whatever you do, please don't watch the news. Baby, turn on the news. Aw. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? A police officer was arrested for a DUI and thought he was above the law. We have the shocking body cam footage here. <laughs> shit, shit. Hey, mate, you been drinking tonight? Hey, you, you can't pull me over, okay? I'm a cop. I pull people over, not you. How much have you had to drink tonight? I, I have only had six beers, but they come in a pack of six. So basically one, so you can't arrest me. Ugh, you're not making this easy on me, mate. You know my body cam's on. Oh, the body cam. Where, where was your body cam? Is that it? Hey, body cam. Fuck you, okay? I do what I want. I'm a bubble. <laughs> oh, man, you know I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna run. Please don't. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Here I go. No, no, no. Uh, Mate, you're not going anywhere. You know the car's in park. Shit. Well, yeah, you're under arrest. I guess you got me. Oh, wow, you were ugly, disgusting drunk. Yeah, well, your snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> you said my snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> It was his snowflake, not mine. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Your joke's not funny anymore. Aw, now we're all sad. So why are you here telling us you're going to jail? Well, there is a problem, because I mean, this is a video after all. So the judge sentenced me to 21 days in jail, and he gave me this go to jail card. See, it says go to jail, go directly to jail, do not pass go, do not collect any cash. So I've been suspended without pay, and I have to report to jail tomorrow. Of course, I already told my wife I had to go to jail today. My problem is, I'm going to be in jail on Christmas, and now I'm worried I might not get any presents from Santa. So I was thinking I could spend the night here and maybe go up to the North Pole and try to trick Santa into thinking Christmas is tonight so I can get my presents early. But won't you be on the naughty list because of the DUIs? Oh, I don't think Santa cares about some DUIs. I mean, the song says you better not pout, you better not cry, not you better not get a DUI. But it also says be good for goodness sake and DUIs are bad. Hmm. Well, that's why when I'm in the North Pole, I can put my name on the nice list. You're not sad that you're not going to see your wife or daughter on Christmas? Hell no. I suck at giving gifts anyway. I'm only good at receiving them. Like, oral. Yeah, last year I gave my daughter a Blu-ray copy of the movie Zephora, because she wanted Sephora, you know, like the makeup, and I got confused. So, on Christmas, we all sat around watching Zephora. We were all really disappointed, both by the movie and my mistake. And I also gave my wife some pretty bad pop. Oh, so you have to go to the North Pole? Well, I wanted you to come with me. Oh, can I go? Yeah, sure, the more the merrier. Everybody can come. Can I come? No! Fuck you! Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Here you go, Santa. Huh? I brought you your milk and cookies for dinner. Oh, thanks, Pepper. Where's my chocolate chip cookies? Well, this is Oreos. It's milk's favorite cookie. It's not my favorite. And what the hell is this? 2% reduced fat? Well, you've been getting a lot of weight, Santa. I know I've been gaining some weight, and plus, you know I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, good one, Santa. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker, but I like you. Santa, it's time to check your list. Oh, I hate checking the list. But Santa, you gotta check it twice. Okay. It's all there. Santa, you gotta check it twice. Okay. Santa, you didn't really check it. Is that better? You didn't look! I'm having my milk and cookies. But Santa, the letters from the children came in for Christmas! The deadline's already passed. They're gonna get what they get. Can I have a cookie, Santa? Oh, sure, Pepper. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, the darn thing's stuck. I hate when it gets stuck. 
I don't want to rip it because then the cookies will go stale. I almost got it. Hold on. Sorry, Santa. Come on, Pepper, hurry up. Oh, I think I'm getting it. It's coming along. All right, time's up, Pepper. Aww. Wow, Santa, you're so strong. Look, there's Santa. He's eating his milk and cookies. And look, there's the Naughty or Nice book. Now I just need somebody to distract him while I check and see if my name is on the nice list. If not, I'll add it. How are we going to distract Santa Claus? I got an idea. Pepper, these cookies taste like shit. I think they're expired. No, I just put one in my ass. You just got the wrong cookie. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker, but I like you. Hey, Santa, I just subscribed to Mrs. Claus's OnlyFans. What? Let me see that. Come on, elves. Yeah. Quick, Marvin, pass me the book. Here you go. Let me see. Uh, let me check Naughty first. Oh, no, I'm right there. I'm number four. Wait a minute. I'm on the naughty list, too? No, Marvin, we didn't come here to fix yours. You still have until Christmas to be nice. I'm going to jail. Hold on, let me just scratch this out. Okay, now I gotta put it in nice. Okay, I'll, I'll be the lookout. Okay, I added my name to the nice list. Well, actually, I spelled my name wrong the first time, because I'm dyslexic. But now all we have to do is convince Santa that tonight is Christmas, so he delivers my presents. Hey! Jumper, Marvin! What, jumper? Yes, get her! <laughs> Wait, Marvin, why the hell are you wearing that elf suit? I was thinking that I could dress like an elf and tell Santa that tonight's Christmas and he'll believe me. Oh, good idea, Marvin. Wish I thought of that. Oh, shit, he's coming. I'll hide under the table. Oh, I can't believe Mrs. Claus created an OnlyFans page and only charging four bucks to see pictures of her hoo-ha. You can get a four for four at Wendy's for that. Probably tastes better and a little less fishy. Ha ha ha, funny, Santa. Where's your glasses, Pepper? Uh, oh, I, uh, I dropped them on the ground. Oh. Well, hopefully you didn't stick this one in your ass too. What? No, oh, I, nope, not that one. Oh, I hope so. Well, tonight's Christmas. What? Yeah, like, like tonight's Christmas, like tonight's the night you have to go deliver the presents. But the reindeer are not even ready, and Rudolph's getting neutered, and he's got balls big as shit. Well, I guess you gotta deliver the presents without Rudolph. Well, I guess so. Watch out, New York City! Okay. <laughs> Let me get the sleigh. Good idea, Marvin. Let's get back home. I didn't know Santa made 9-11 jokes. What are you doing, Santa? Loading the gifts on the sleigh to deliver tonight. Santa, are you feeling okay? Christmas isn't for another two weeks. But you told me Christmas was tonight. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Peppermint, don't lie to me. Cause I'll bend you over my knee and spank you. Ugh, I wish I lied to you, Santa, but I didn't. Well, who did? Well, I don't know. Let me check the security cameras. Oh, it looks like some guy broke in and wrote his name with your book. What? Brooklyn? And he added it to the nice list? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Oh, teach me a lesson, Santa. Bend me over and spank me like a naughty schoolboy. Peppermint, you're a naughty fucker, but I love you. Oh my god, Marvin, I can't believe that actually worked! It did? Yeah, I put my name in the nice list, so now Santa's gonna come deliver presents tonight! Hey, do you guys have any pajamas? I'm just so excited, I wanna go to sleep right now so Santa comes. Why do you need pajamas? Well, I don't wanna sleep in my cop uniform, I gotta sleep in something loose, cause I get raging morning wood and it hurts. Oh, I don't think I have pajamas that are your size. What size is that? Fat? No, I wasn't calling you fat, I just don't know if we're the same size. What were you calling me then? I, I wasn't calling you anything. Yeah, okay. Well, you can make it up to me by spooning me. I'm not gonna spoon you. Well, I was gonna be the big spoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Ugh, good night. Good night. Get over here. Think you can go to bed all caked up like I ain't got a sweet tooth? Like I ain't trying to get a cavity? What you thought this was, man? What? Nothing, just kidding. <laughs> what are you doing? What, you hear that? I think that's Santa Claus. It does sound like Santa Claus. Let's go check. Oh, Marvin, look at that. It's Santa Claus. And look at all those presents. They're all for me. Well, actually, he thinks it's Christmas, so there's presents for everyone. Oh, yeah. Well, most of them have got to be for me because I'm on the nice list. But you're not, so you're not getting any presents. I forgot I'm on the naughty list. Man, he is really taking a sweet time with those presents, huh? Well, he's got a fat dumpy, though. Oh, no, he's just scratching his ass. Hmm. Hurry up! <laughs>
So he's gone. Okay, present time. Oh, look at all these presents. Oh, this big one has to be for me. No, it's not for you. And what about these down here? No, none of these are for you either. And where are my presents? Oh, uh, look, this one says Brooklyn guy. Mine, back off. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. It could be anything. I had so many things on my list. It could be an Applebee's gift card. It could be a Denny's gift card. <gasps> a Chili's gift card. Or maybe it's a weighted blanket so I feel trapped yet comfortable. Oh, now I gotta check. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What? Coal? Why'd he give you coal? I don't know. How is this possible? I put my name on the nice list. Uh, look behind you. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck you, Brooklyn! Oh, well, now I guess I know what they mean when they say he knows if you've been bad or good. I guess he found out I put my name on the nice list. It's well, gonna I guess be okay. I guess I'll go to jail sad now. Well, I have a gift for you. Yeah, what is it? Wait, what's that? What? A get out of jail free card? Marvin, this is the best Christmas gift of all. Not going to prison.
You got that short black dress up in your body so fat You got that sweet hip sway, it's got you looking so right All I wanna do is have buddy at you All I wanna do is be with you, you Won't you come away with me, won't you come away with me I want you to come with me, let go and have some fun with me We got that sweet hip sway, it's got you looking so right All I wanna do is get with you, all I wanna do is be with me with you Won't you come away with me, won't you come away with me So nice, you got those long, smooth legs. Never seen such a sight. I need you, and I want you. I gotta, gotta have you. Won't you come away with me? Won't you come away with me? We can stay up all night. I promise it'll feel alright. I want you to come with me, let go and have some fun with me. We can stay up all night. I promise it'll feel alright. Come with me, come with me. People will be talking about our love. People will be gawking at our love. People will see what we got. People will want what we got Gonna set the world on fire Wanna set the world on fire Wanna set the world on fire When you come with me tonight Oh, 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 oh I want you to come with me Like go and have some fun with me We can stay up all night I promise it'll feel alright Come with me, come with me All I want you to come with me I need you to come for me can you come for me, please? It'll never get better than this. It'll never get better than this. It'll never get better than this. Oh, I want you to come with me. I need you to come for me. I want to come for you. So can you come for me, please? It'll never get better than this. It'll never get better than this. It'll never get better than this. What's a Hertz Donut? Ow! Hertz Donut? Jeffy, that wasn't very nice. Obviously, you didn't get the joke. I said, you want a Hertz Donut? And then I threw it at him and said, Hertz Donut? Oh, like the donut hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny anymore. Wait, what's that noise? Uh oh, great. What's wrong, Marvin? Look at Booger. Oh, he's pissing. Oh, oh, he ran away pissing. Oh, wow. Oh, you scared him. No, Booger needs to get neutered. Is that really necessary? Yes, because if we neuter him, he won't pee anymore. What's neutered mean? It's when they grab your balls. Marvin! They... Oh, they grab your balls? I want to be neutered. What? No, Jeffy. Look, baby, can you please put Booger in his cage or take him to the vet? Aw, but he hates it in there. Put him in the cage, baby. Okay. Jeffy, you stay right here. I want to be neutered. Booger, pizza. <laughs> okay, go get it. <laughs> Oh, Booger, I'm so sorry. Marvin, Booger's ready. Oh, Booger, you're stuck in the cage? Well, I've never been neutered before, so I'm gonna let you out. Be free, Booger. I'm gonna get my balls touched. Oh, there's pizza in here. All right, Booger, it's time to go to the vet and get neutered. Oh, man. Oh, dinosaurs are heavy. Oh. Hey, welcome to the vet's office. Please identify yourself, because I can't see. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin, what's up? Well, why can't you see? Oh, I just got LASIK eye surgery this morning, so I can't see anything right now. But in a few hours, when my eyes heal up, oh, my vision's going to be perfect. It's going to be 2020. Hopefully not like the year. Well, I brought my pet dinosaur to get neutered. What, really? A pet dinosaur? Oh, that's awesome. I've never gotten a chance to neuter a dinosaur before. This is exciting. I'll get started right now. Wait, wait, wait shouldn't you wait for your eyes to heal? No, 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 no. I've neutered so many animals, I can do this with my eyes closed, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Uh, hey, do you want to keep them? 
Keep what? The balls. Like, do you want to keep them in a jar or something? Well, no, I don't want to keep the balls. Okay, well, I'm going to keep them. I mean, the dinosaur balls. That's awesome. I'm keeping those. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll call you or, or just bring them by. Okay, then I'll see you later. What? See? Oh, I get it. Like, it, like, LASIK. Like, C. See, I, I thought you meant C, like, like the ocean. What? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But I get it now, so it's funny. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. All right, come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Show me those balls. All right, baby, I just dropped Booger off at the vet. Marvin, I think it's cruel to neuter animals. Baby, he was peeing on the rug. This is the only way to get him to stop. Will it? Booger, stop it. You're not eating a donut. Booger! Marvin, I thought you said he was at the vet. He is. I just dropped him off. Well, maybe it's a girl and they couldn't neuter him. Well, no, no. Brooklyn guy said he would drop the dinosaur off when he was done. So maybe he's already done. Let me call the vet real quick. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, this is the vet's office. Can you identify yourself? I can't see my caller ID. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin. I just finished neutering a dinosaur. It went great. Is that why you dropped him off? What? Dropped him off? No, he's still here. No, he's right next to me. Well, that's impossible because he's right next to me. Are you, are you sure it's a dinosaur? Like, can you see him? Well, no, but I can touch him. Like, I just touched him. He's here. What? Well, my dinosaur's right next to me. Oh, well, do you have two dinosaurs? Because if you do, I'll neuter both of them. You know, buy one, get one. Oh, uh, baby, are you sure the dinosaur you put in the cage was Booger? Yes, Marvin. Like he was green? Yes, Marvin. Are you sure he was green? What? Yes. <sighs> Doggy, get in here. What you want, Ma Bibbs? Did you call me in here so you could give me some money? No, Dougie, I just want to make sure your balls were okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so both my dinosaurs are here. Well, you must have a third one, because I definitely have a dinosaur here. Wait, so there's a third dinosaur, and you neutered it? Yeah, it went fine. I, I mean, I will say I didn't keep his balls. They were a little too human-like. Kind of freaked me out, so I threw him in the ball pit. Like, we have this ball pit where we throw all the animal balls when we're done with them. It's pretty gross. And actually, now that you mention it, he did scream a lot in English. Dinosaurs are weird. Okay, can you please bring that dinosaur over to my house so we can see what you're talking about? Yeah, sure, I'll drive right over there. Are you sure you're okay to drive with your vision? Oh, yeah, I've been there so many times I can drive there with my eyes closed. Uh, okay, this doesn't make any sense, baby. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's probably in his room. Jeffy, get in here! Jeffy! Did you hear that? The vet must be here. H Hello? Am I in the right house? Yeah, right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. See, I told you I could make it, and you thought I couldn't drive here. Where'd you park? In your driveway. Did you hit my car? I hit something, but hey, look, I brought you Dinosaur. Dinosaur, get in here. I look like the lamp from Pixar. Jeffy! You named your dinosaur Jeffy? That must get confusing. That's your son's name. You neutered my son! No, I neutered your dinosaur. Then take your glasses off and look. Oh, I don't know if my eyes have healed yet. <gasps> they did heal. Everything looks amazing. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit, that's your son. Yeah, I guess I did neuter him. Wh why'd you neuter him? Well, look, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I guess his balls were pretty human-like, and he did scream when I cut him, and he even said, hey, don't neuter me, I'm a human, not a dinosaur. But I thought the dinosaur was trying to trick me, so I was like, you can't trick me, dinosaur, so I snipped him anyway. I can't believe you neutered my son! Well, it's not my fault, it's your fault, because you put him in the cage! No, it's your fault, you put him in the cage! No! put Booger in a cage. Jeffy, how'd you get in the cage? Well, I saw Booger in the cage, and then I let him out so I could get in the cage because I wanted to know what neuter was. See, see, it's his fault, not mine. See, everybody hear that? I'm not liable. You can't sue me. Okay, can we put his balls back on him? I don't think you understand. His balls are in the ball pit. I mean, do you really want to dive into a 10,000 square foot pit of animal balls? I mean, there's cat balls, dog balls, donkey balls, fish balls, raccoon balls, there's wall-to-wall -wall balls. Okay, well, can we find his balls? Well, even if we could find his balls, we can't put them back on. You can't use tape? No. Why do you guys keep all those balls. And we grind them up to make baloney. That's why it's called ball -oney. Hey, we sell some. You want it? But I don't want any ball -o Ew! I don't want baloney. His balls might be in there. I, I don't want to get out of here. Well, it's got chicken balls, pork balls, and beef balls. No, listen, listen. Jeffy, how are you feeling? Well, I've been better, Daddy. Ow, 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 I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. See, he's not in too much pain because he's on pain meds, but don't worry, those will wear off. Okay, so, like, what do we do now? Well, I mean, there's nothing more for me to do, but, I mean, if he's in too much pain, you can call me, and you probably will be calling me. Oh, man, Jeffy, are you okay? Danny, why am I gonna wear this cone on my head? So you don't lick your balls. How'd you know I was doing that? What? Is there a camera in my room? What? No, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Worried. Because how long has that camera been in my room? And what else have you seen me lick? There's no camera in your room, Jeffy. I'm going to go look for the camera in my room. What, well, no, Jeffy, there's no camera. Oh, man, I can't believe this happened to Jeffy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that stupid camera? Hey, Jeffy. Daddy, this is an invasion of my privacy because you have a camera in my room. There's no camera, Jeffy. Then why the cone? Listen, earlier today, we wanted to take your pet dinosaur to the vet to get his balls chopped off. What? Because he wouldn't stop peeing on the rug. Pee comes from your balls? No. Well, then why get his balls chopped off? Listen, Jeffy, the main point is you got your balls chopped off today. I did? Yeah. 
hurts, don't it? Marvin! Well, he did that earlier to me, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to make the joke. No, Marvin! Listen, so that's why it hurts when you hit your diaper. Oh, I thought it hurts just because I beat it all the time. Ow, 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 the, doctor, the doctor said, don't do that because you're going to irritate it. So look, Jeffy, after school tomorrow, we're going to make it up to you. We're going to take you to Chuck E. Cheese, and you can eat pizza or play games. You can't do both because we're on a budget. We're balling on a budget. Marvin, stop it. You can play skee ball. Or basketball. Marvin. Or playing the ball pit. Stop it! Okay, those are all my ball jokes. Listen, Jeffy, you're missing your balls, and tomorrow we're gonna make it up to you after school. So just go to bed, and tomorrow we'll have a fun day, okay? Okay, Daddy, but real quick, if I throw up in this thing, will I drown? No, Jeffy, just lean forward, it'll spill out. If I go outside and it starts raining or snowing, will I drown? No, th there's holes in the thing, Jeffy. It, 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 look, you're not gonna drown. Go to bed. All right, Daddy. All right, class, today we're going to be learning about the North Atlantic right whale. Oh, we're learning about my mom today because she's a big, fat whale, right? She's the biggest animal on the whole planet. Cody, why would you talk about your mom like that? Well, I was just beating you guys to it because I know you're going to say it. I would never say your mom is fat. Oh, shut up. I'm going to tell your mom you called her fat. Please don't. The North Atlantic right whale is known to have the biggest balls of any animal in the world. Nuts big as shit! <laughs> I didn't know I was a North Atlantic right whale, because <laughs> my balls are huge. Or because you're fat like your mom. Ha <laughs> ha, conehead. Don't call me names. <laughs> hey, satellite dish head. I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Megaphone head. I will allow you to call me one more name as long as it's hilarious. <laughs> Upside down lampshade head. That was lame. Hey, can you look up a little more? What, like this? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trash can head. Oh, you did it now. <laughs> Jeffy boy, no fighting! You're going to the principal's office right now! Hey, Danny, I got suspended from school today. For what? For beating up this kid because he was making fun of my cone hat. What did he say? Well, you see this paper ball in here? He threw it in here and now I can't get it out. I was playing with that. Jeffy, you are grounded for getting suspended from school. Well, what about Chuck E. Cheese? You're grounded, so you can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Damn. Well, I'm hungry. Well, go downstairs and get something to eat. How? I can't even reach my mouth. Jeffy, just go figure it out. Okay. I can't believe you got suspended. Hey, Dad, can you help me pour some milk? Jeffy! What? What you wasted all the Cheerios for? Well, you told me to figure it out. This is the best I can come up with. No, Jeffy, you go pour those Cheerios out because you're wasting them. Okay. But not about to... Jeffy! Hey, you hit my eyeball off. <laughs> go clean yourself up. Oh, baby, it's going to take forever to clean this mess up. What about Jiffy's eye? Danny, you've been really mean to me ever since I apparently got my balls cut off. You did get your balls cut off, Jeffy. Did I? You did, right? I don't know. I haven't been able to lick them because it is cone. Hey, hey, everybody, I didn't really cut Jeffy's balls off. What? what? Yeah, I was checking the security camera footage at the vet's office because I was going to sell it to, like, a gore website or something, and then I saw it really happened. Well, what really happened? Calm down, baby birds. I'll feed you. Just watch this flashback. All right, dinosaur, show me those balls. I'm going to cut them off. But I'm a human. No, you're not going to trick me, dinosaur. Give me those balls. Here they are. Oh, no, you're cutting my balls. Ball. You're cutting my balls. Mm, they smell really good. Mm, I'm going to try this. So you didn't cut Jeffy's balls off? Oh, no, I was cutting pizza. Oh, well, earlier you said you felt something that felt like human balls. Yeah, that was the pizza. It was really soggy. It felt like human balls, and I ate it. What? <laughs> yeah, I ate it, because... Okay, listen. I, I, I thought to myself, when am I going to get another chance to eat dinosaur balls, right? So I had to try it, and then it tasted like pepperoni pizza. So I thought to myself, this is why the dinosaurs must have gone extinct. It's because their balls tasted like pepperoni pizza, and people kept eating their balls, and then they couldn't have any more babies. But then I lied to you guys because I didn't want you to know that I ate dinosaur balls, and then I thought I ate your son's balls, and that was even worse, so I couldn't tell you that. But it turned out it was pizza, so it's okay. But you ate it thinking it was balls. Yeah, yeah, but it's pizza, so everything's fine. But it was, you thought it was balls. Look, when... man, we don't have to obsess about it. I ate pizza. He still has his balls. Everything's good. I still have my balls? Yep, you sure do. So I can take the cone off? Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? Oh, it's, it's like those little, like, those little knobs, like, behind your head there. Yeah, this, you got it. Is that one? Okay. I, no, that, I, I think, I think that one's okay. You got, uh, yeah, there's, there's three of them, so. Yeah, you got it. Just one more. Just turn it. Yeah! I'm free! <laughs> Jeffy, what are you 
doing? I'm in my lion costume, Daddy. A lion doesn't go. Well, this one does. Jeffy, look, take your costume off. It's not Halloween. No, Daddy, I just want you to put it on. You make sure it was scary. Rawr! Is it scary? No, it's not scary, Jeffy. Well, I bet if I ate someone's face off, it'd be scary. Jeffy! You're not Jeffrey Dahmer. You're a lion. Well, my name's Jeffy. Look, just, just, just go outside, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Rawr! Wee! I'm playing at the playground with my pencil, no shoes, and my pants are down. This is a good day. Wee! Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a lion! Oh, no! Oh, no! So, baby. Yeah, Marvin? Jeffy's outside, and we're all alone. Oh! <laughs> So I was thinking maybe I can give you a full body massage. Okay, Marvin. I see where this is going. See what it leads to. Oh, you're sick. You're sick. You're just sick. <laughs> I got you, Marvin. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, Let's do it again. No, the, the news is on. Let's watch the news. Breaking news, MK. Okay? A lion has escaped from the local zoo and attacked a child at a park. We have an exclusive interview with the child now. Let's go to that. So I was at the park with my favorite pencil that I always bring with me to the park, and then suddenly a lion attacked me and I stabbed him in the nose. Wow, truly terrifying. If you've seen this lion, please call 911 immediately. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone who finds him. Marvin, there's a lion on the loose and Jeffy's outside! You have to go get him! Okay, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God, Jeffy, there you are. You have to go inside right now. There's a lion on the loose. Don't you yell at me, Jeffy. Get inside. Jeffy, knock it off. Oh, good, Marvin. You found Jeffy. Yeah, but he won't stop acting like a lion. Wow, Jeffy, your roar's gotten really good. <laughs> Jeffy, just go to your room. Poor Jeffy! What did he do, Marvin? He clawed open the couch! Jeffy, you're not a real lion. You can't do that. Yeah, Jeffy, go cut your fingernails. Why? Oh, it's gonna cost so much money to fix the couch. All right, world, hear me roar. Roar! Oh, hey, what's going on? Gotcha, you little bastard. Don't worry, everybody, I caught the lion. Where are you taking me? What, a talking lion? No, 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 I think I still have some of those brownies in my system. Come on, let's go put you down. Oh, baby, yeah, oh, I love the way that feels. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. Hey, Shaggy B, what are you doing? Uh, Julia, I'm beating my meat. Oh, leave me alone. Let me beat it in peace. I could help. Oh, Cody, I know how to beat my meat by myself, okay? Leave me alone. I could use my mouth. Just, just get out of here. Get out of here, friend, you little brat. God. Wait, wait, what happened to my meat? Who took my meat? Julia! What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? What did you guys do with my meat? Well, we didn't do anything with it. You wouldn't let me help. Look, I was beating my meat, then you guys came in there and bothered me, now it's gone! Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I can help you get it back up. Yeah, help me get it back! Alright, whip it out. No, 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 not that! I'm talking about my steak! Steak? What steak? Oh my god, god, Cody! Marvin! What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Have you guys seen my meat? What? Seen your meat? Yes, it's big and floppy. I was just beating it in the kitchen. What? Well, no, we haven't seen your meat. Come on now. Somebody seen it, because somebody grabbed it. Now tell me who grabbed it. I didn't grab your meat. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab no. your meat. I know you grabbed it. You look like you grabbed meat. Come on now. No, did you... I did not grab your meat. Baby, you grabbed his meat. Marvin, I didn't grab his meat. Now I wouldn't blame you if you wanted a taste of it. What? What? No, we didn't taste it. Look, tell me who grabbed it, and I'll give you a taste of it. I promise. Well, no, no, I'm gonna call the cops. You're being perverted. Chef PB. What? Be perverted? I'm just talking about my steak. Wait, steak? Yes. Wait, wait. Look, he has it. What? Chef, you ate Chef PB's steak? I'll give it back. Get my meat out your mouth. What? <laughs> Get it. Give it up. Your... Sorry, Chef PB. Yeah, that's my meat. Don't touch my meat no more. Jeffy, you know what? You're grounded for taking Chef Pee-Pee's meat. Come on. Yeah. All right, Jeffy. Lay down and go to sleep. It's past your bedtime anyway. Bye. Hey, you better calm down. You're lucky I'm letting you wear your lion costume to bed. Bye. Go to sleep. Bye. So, Marvin, did you get Jeffy to bed? Yeah, but he was fighting it. So, we're alone again. Yeah. Do you want to give me another back massage? Oh, no. I'm not going to fall for that again, Miss Toots Columbo. Well, come on, Marvin. How about if I give you a back massage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, lay down. Hey, Marvin, look up real quick. What? I can't believe you fell for that! Oh, I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you. The news is on, the, the, the news. 
breaking news, okay? The lion that escaped from the zoo has been found. Since the animal attacked someone, he has been deemed too dangerous to keep alive. He is being euthanized by firing squad tomorrow on pay-per-view. Thank God they caught that lion before it hurt someone! Ugh, my eyes are so itchy! What's wrong, Marvin? My eyes are itchy. Oh my God, your eyes are pink! What, they're pink? Why would they be pink? I don't know, maybe you caught something! Call the doctor! Okay, I'm gonna call the doctor! <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a very happy doctor. Why are you so happy? Because I caught the lion. You lion! No, no I'm not. Hey, listen here, okay? It was on the news. There was proof. The city paid me to catch that lion, okay? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar because I caught the lion and it's gonna be executed tomorrow morning by firing squad on pay-per-view. Anyway, why'd you call me? Because my eyes are pink. Hmm, well that could be caused by one of two things. Either you've been having some of those special brownies I make, or you got pink eye. What, what's pink eye? Well, it's when you get shit in your eye. What? Yeah, you get some fecal particles in your eye and it makes them all red and itchy. What, fecal particles? Yeah, you know, doo-doo. What, what, how would doo-doo get in my eye? Well, I don't know, uh, I guess sometimes when you're wiping your butt, you know, and your finger breaks through the toilet paper, you get some poo-poo on your finger and then you rub your eye and then, you know, you get pink Who would do that? You, apparently. Well, no, that's not what I did. What? Could it happen from someone farting in your face? Well, yeah, but why would that ever happen? What if your wife did it to you twice? What? Oh my god, did, did she do that? It was a prank! Yeah, she farted right in my face. No, 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 do you want to press charges? I would like to, yeah, because she farted right in my face, it was wet and stinky. If it my, was funny! If my wife did that to me, they would make a Netflix documentary about what I did. I would kill her. What, you, uh, listen, how do I fix the pink eye? Well, I could give you some, uh, you know, some antibiotic eye drops, but I don't have those on me, so you'd have to go to a pharmacy, you know, like Walgreens or CVS or Walmart Pharmacy, or Kmart? Is that still a thing? I don't think they had pharmacies when they were around, so don't go there. Okay, so what do I do? Well, just don't let her fart on you again, but definitely get that looked at. Ugh, it's so itchy. Sorry. You gave me pink eye. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, my meat is ready. Who wants to taste it? Ooh, I'll try it. All right, baby, while you taste his meat, I'm gonna go ask Jeff if he's hungry, because he hasn't ate anything for dinner. Okay. Wow, wow. Jeffy, are you hungry? <laughs> Jeffy? Listen, there's a steak in there if you want to eat some. Okay, mister, for raising your voice at me, now you have to eat green beans. So come on, come on. Baby, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans because he talked back to me. How was Chef Pee-Pee's meat? Oh, it was really good. Nice and juicy. Wait, there's no bite taken out of the steak. <laughs> Chef Pee-Pee strikes again! Oh, you Chef Pee-Pee, why I ought to... Oh, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans. <laughs> Jeffy, stop chewing on the table. <laughs> I got you a big old plate of green beans, so eat up. That is it, mister! You are so crowded! Come on! Baby! I'm sorry, Marvin! It won't ever happen again! Wait, what? No, no, no! Jeffy threw his plate of green beans on the ground! Marvin, he always does that. Well, I'm sick of it, so you're grounded, Jeffy! And also, I found out that Jeffy has homework. Oh, but well, why don't you help him with it, Marvin? Okay, Jeffy, I'll help you with your homework. Okay. Right. What is the estimate of 3.596 plus 2.4? Anyway, Jeffy, you're the one in school, not me. You're the one who has to do this homework. So do it. What? Jeffy! Don't you worry. Bad, bad. Oh, oh, he bit my head. He bit my head. Let go, Jeffy. Let go. Oh, he bit my head. Oh, my God, Marvin. Your head looks horrible. You need to call the doctor. Jeffy, I might press charges on you now that you're 18. You might go to jail. Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. I'm gonna call a doctor. I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor. My head! Hey, you are not gonna raise your voice in me, sir, okay? We're gonna use our inside voices like adults. Now tell me what happened. My hand! Jesus Christ, look at your hand! What happened? Oh my god, has anybody seen his hand? My son bit my hand. What, your son did that? Yeah. <laughs> That's not your son, that's a lion. He's just in a lion costume. Huh, how about that? Wow, that is a really realistic lion costume. Where'd he get it? Spirit Halloween. No, he did not get that at a Spirit Halloween. No, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. Listen, what are we gonna do about my head? Man, that's pretty torn up. You want to press charges? Yeah, because he didn't even say he was sorry. Man, that looks pretty bad. You might need stitches. Yeah, it hurts really bad. Hold on, hold on, I'm having a flashback here. Hmm. Oh my god. What? I just remembered. I didn't wash my hands after I wiped. Ew, I'm gonna get pink eye now. Wait, don't wipe that on me. Hey, you already have pink eye. What are you kidding? That's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having another thought. Huh, that lion I caught was in your front yard. You lion. Bitch, I already told you that it was on the news. There's proof, okay? Wait, 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 what, were you, what, what were you talking about? What were you talking about? I, damn it, I forgot. You, you were saying something. We'll try to remember. Backtrack. Okay, hold on. Stinky fingers. Pink eye, wiped it on you, interrupting cow. You said there's a lion in my front yard. Yes, yes, the lion I caught was in your front yard and he could talk. What, you he... lion! Hey, okay, I, 
I'll kill you. Oh, no, listen, you said, okay, you said a lion could talk, lions can't talk. Oh, this lion could talk. Hold on, make your lion talk. Jeffy, say hi. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> he can't talk. Hmm, this lion can't talk, but the lion I caught said he wasn't a lion. So he wasn't lion? Huh, maybe he wasn't lying. Maybe he really wasn't a lion. Maybe I caught your son. What? And if I caught your son, then that means... Uh-oh! <laughs> What do we do? I don't know, man. The only lion I ever caught was your son, and he came quietly. I don't want to die! Come on, think of something, think of something! Hmm... I have an idea. <laughs> oh, man. That is some good catnip. <laughs> I can see why cats love it so much. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, look at the lion. <laughs> he, he's just lying around. <laughs> Marvin, well, he's not a lion. He's a hyen. <laughs> because he is suited out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> Man's is stuck. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. But we gotta stop doing this to fix our problems. Wait. Wait, I gotta go save Jeffy before he's executed by firing squad tomorrow morning, and I gotta take the lion with me. Hey, hey, wake up, buddy. Uh, he's not waking up. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hey, Marvin, I saved Jeffy just in the nick of time, too. They were about to blow his head off. Yeah, I felt like I was in Call of Duty. Good. That was, that was good. Wait, you guys ain't catnip without me? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Today was a wacky day. <laughs> Okay, all right, you know what? That's it. Oh, I'm good. I'm leaving. That was disgusting.